All right. So, welcome to the continent of Dracaron. <laughs> it's been 300 years since the end of the Dragon War, a massive conflict between the Great Worms and their corrupted Dragon Swan servants, and the Mortal Alliance, which brought many nations to their knees, outright destroying all others. Since the conflict, no large-scale warfare has taken place, as most of the civilized nations have been rebuilding and restoring that which was lost during the war. Many new nations have risen up to power since the Age of Glory began, with the three most powerful being the city-states of Ilion, Palos, and Caden in that order. War between the three great powers almost broke out 20 years ago, but was avoided with the signing of the Asomi Bargain which allowed each of these nations a safe passage and rights to exploit the resources found in the Asomi Hills. With the new changes in leadership in Caden and Ilion, the old bargains hold less weight, as foreign agents have been found in Ilion's low council, as well as privateers from Caden that have begun assaulting trading vessels from both Palos and Ilion, as well as an attempt that was made on the life of Caden's ruler by a group of assassins who were hired by one of the other two nations. So, with this stage set, holy shit, I say stage set, whatever. With the stage set, you've all come to the town of Eryx, a few days travel from the ancient ruins of Ikora, which could prove to be a valuable stronghold in the all but inevitable war between the three great powers. Some of you have come seeking your fame, fortune, or glory, while others have simply come in search of knowledge, truth, a new purpose, or just to learn more about themselves while some of you might have just, you know, come here to escape the hustle and bustle of your old lives and to start anew. You were all told you have seven days to do whatever you wish before the march on Ikora begins. So, you've set out to complete two of the three jobs that were posted on the notice board outside of the Mangy Wolf Tavern. It's been about a day since then since you've been traveling, and so you've set up camp for the night, where four of you are currently asleep and one of you is on watch who is it me okay <laughs> so funnily enough we forgot to record the character descriptions and yeah so just gonna insert that here as an interrupt cool. Jason what was your character look like uh, Argus is uh, middle-aged kind of dwarf he's uh definitely over the 150 mark he's never really mentioned his age but he's got some gray going in through the beard he's about four foot eight roughly 200 pounds so he's built like a brick wall um he's wearing full chainmail, big thick heavy shield various weapons strapped about and a big old pack full of just various different stuff that he carries around with him all over the place yeah. Next is Duke. Yeah, he's a six four ish, like two ten ish, uh, mid twenty ish, uh, long black hair and beard, or short scruffy beard, with a black duster and a black wide brimmed hat. Scale mail. Hiding under the duster. Yep. It looks pretty, like, kind of sickly pale. Yeah. Gale mail under a leather duster. Oof, that'd be hot. Country boy, he's used to it. All right, Grim. <laughs> I'm cold. All right, Grim's wearing, uh, like, black, gray, and, like, brown armor. Eyes are jet black, hair jet black. Skin is very bronze. Around 6'3", 210, muscular. Uh, you know, without his armor, his front torso, only like really the front of his torso is incredibly scarred. Just a lot of like, a lot of cuts and fucking deep, deep scar tissue on his arms and ar on his arms and chest. Yeah. Nice. He carries a giant sword. Nico. Nico is 5'11", kind of on the thinner th side, blue eyes, like medium blackish hair, young 20s, and he's just got kind of like generic looking clothing on, 
with a gauntleted right fist and like this kind of like brace on his left leg and he's got like a walking stick with a uh, like a cut jeweled like pearl okay nice yeah Sigmund okay Sigmund is 25 years old he is 6'5 240 pounds uh, long blonde hair uh, blue eyes uh, he is a fucking Chad dude he's, he's got jacked as mail. fuck bro <laughs> he's jacked as fuck dude he's got fucking chain mail uh, shield and his family hand axe that he beats ass with yeah yeah dude so, Nico's on watch. The other four are asleep. Now, you'll never guess what I'm going to ask you to roll. It might be a uh, perception check. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's pretty good. I know. Sorry. Let me move my phone. Holy shit. Roll a strength saving throw. Here comes the wind. Um, you asked eleven. For oh shit! Don't forget that survival will to tell where you are. Hey, he's not remembering his backstory right now. That's he, or what where the direction is. Also, Billy, you get inspiration. I'm kidding. Uh, everyone, you start with inspiration, and if you haven't read over the house rules, uh, in the Bam Stacks part of the variant, in inspirations now, you just add a D12 to a roll. Oh, okay. that's it. Second. That's pretty good. That's, I, like I like that it. a lot better. <laughs> you can choose to use it whenever you want. Uh, if there's something in your backstory that comes up or that would make sense for you to use it on, uh, you just do. You just ask me for it, and I'll be like, okay, this seems justifiable right now. Okay. And so, where is she? Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, Nico, everything seems pretty much fine. I mean, you guys hit your camp pretty well, I'd assume, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, you set up between two rocks. There's some, what looks like just kind of one big tent, but whatever. And so, you see four ragged and, I, I mean, I guess they look rugged. They look more haggard than anything, individuals. Step out of the shadows with their crossbows aimed at you. And Nico, you've worked with crossbows many times. These things look like if they were to be fired five times in succession, they would fall apart. Oh, just a lone traveler. Come on, give us what you got. And you see the guy next to him nudge him on the shoulder and say, I got a tent, you fucking idiot. So, we'll take what all you've got. You'll do what? Come on, give us your stuff. Like that idiot Praetorian. We took his cloak. Oh, and his axe. Oh, yeah, and his axe. So, come on, hand your stuff over before we start shooting. Mm. Why don't you go ahead and start shooting, then? Okay. Uh, roll initiative. Okay. Uh, everybody can if they want. Like, it doesn't... Yeah. You don't need to have your token. You should just... Okay, well, it won't drop the thing out, so... Let's just go to a brink map, and we can all just drag ourselves onto it. <laughs> because roll 20 doesn't want to cooperate. So one. Two. Three, four, and you can drag yourselves on. Where? That, oh, yeah. On the world map? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I haven't yeah. DM'd in like, it feels like a year now. <laughs> okay, I've tried my best. Like, nah, where fine. are we? We're like, back here? Be some trees and stuff right there. More trees. Your tent's probably. Like, set up, like, one, two, right? Mm-hmm. 
be a little campfire. So two of you would be in one tent, two of you would be in the other. Sigmund's hiding in the trees. I'm Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is a tent? <laughs> that's the silver. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I've never seen them rock tents. What the fuck? Come on, brother. You ain't seen a rock tent. No, rock, yo, rock tents, ancient dwarven technology. I had a yeah. nine before, but I don't know if it fucking matters. <laughs> I mean, someone might get knocked out, but you guys are probably going to slaughter them. Yeah. I got a nine. Is mine in there? It should be. Uh, no. But I can just do this. And yeah, nine point one four. You can just change it yourself. I added you to it. Who else is missing? Argus. Oh, six. oh whoops! I deleted Jason. Jason doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Holy well, shit! Uh, All right. Did you roll initiative before? Uh, uh twelve one. All right. In the future, Jason. There'll be the like little chat box with the initiative tracker, and you should be able to just type in 12.1 for yourself. And then, yeah, it should just sort itself. Yeah, okay. So you beat him, you beat him. Of course, the dog starts barking. This is really intense combat, you guys. Alright, so the okay. bandit grunted first. I'm just being a smart ass. <laughs> Alright. He fucking... He throws his stick at you. Because his crossbow is broken. That guy didn't have a crossbow. Bro, he hit me with a crossbow. What a, what, a, what a stick. He threw the javelin at you. You take three damage. Oh no. And then the next guy goes. And... Is he one of the smart ones? Let's see if he's a smart one. Whatever the fuck his character sheet is. Oh my god, he's smart as fuck. Alright, so it's disadvantage because you on the ground. And that's it, Argus. So <laughs> Argus, you wake up to like pa plunk off your shield next to you. <laughs> <laughs> well. This guy goes, wait, what? Ah! And you go. Alright, guys. Uh, sleep time's over. Is that the voice you're going with? It's, it's still a workshop. <laughs> hey, man. Right, We're not professional voice out. actors. We're clowns. <laughs> Those big clowns. <laughs> and then... I'm gonna grab my magical looking walking stick and I'm gonna point it at this dude and I'm gonna cast Spectral Hand. What does that do? I do not know. The Spectral Hand appears and grasps him and he starts freaking the fuck out. Ah! Um, and now he can't regen HP, although I don't think that matters. Yep, that's. That is what it do. And I'm gonna stand behind this tree over here. Yeah. Argus, you're technically prone, but I have a feeling I know what you're about to do. Also, just uh, for future reference, like, if you guys get attacked when you're asleep, you'll be unarmored, you know, because you can't really sleep in your stuff unless you have a feature that says so. But for now, I'll just let you have your gear because you're level one, and someone dying right now would suck. Appreciate you. Argus is gonna like kind of roll over rapidly, grab his shield with two hands, spring up, and just like bash this guy right in the face with his shield. Um, I I'm just gonna roll the Morning Star for that. Yeah. Because he's got spikes on it, so it's basically the same. Wait, is that damage or attack? It's attack and damage. You rolled a 14 to hit, 6 damage. Ah. So you run up and bitch slap him and he like stumbles backwards. And then, uh, well, he can't do anything yet. But it looks like he's raring to uh, swing at you. Oh, you got something else? Right, then I'm gonna, yep, I'm gonna use right. my bonus action to shove his ass prone. Okay. So make your athletics check. Nine. Do you want to oh. throw him too? <laughs> 
<laughs> do you want to bitch slap? What do you want to do to me? Roll down one. And these guys don't matter. <laughs> um, it, it, yeah, the bitch slap was just hard enough to toss him back like a good five feet and land on his ass. She's like, are you serious? Smack him. Ah! <laughs> Hold prone. Uh, this guy. Is he smart? No. So. I ain't right behind that tree! Clanks off the tree. Waking Grim up. Oh my guy. Lord of this guy. Clowns can't let me get one wink of sleep, could you? I'm not a clown. Swing at his head. Oh, okay. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> he Dark Souls rolls out of bed and then chops the dude's head off. Killing him. <laughs> then the other it's bandit me. grunt. What was up? This guy runs up to you. Hey, yeah. kill Dave! Then he goes to stab you with his spear. It's for seven damage. Ow. You feel like you might oh. need it. Well, if tetanus shots were real, you'd probably feel like you needed one after getting stabbed by that. Yeah. Worn and corroded. Does that actually hit Grim? Because Grim's within five feet of me, which gives him a cover bonus. He just ran up and stabbed him with a spear. That, yeah. I, I don't think cover applies to melee attacks. Doesn't it? I don't think so. Uh, just... Fighting style, cover specialist. All creatures within five feet, you gain the benefits of half cover, plus two AC. Let's see. Cover... I would still hit me. I would be at 18 then. Yeah. Unfortunate. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay, Jason. It does <laughs> add to AC? Yes. Oh, my dwarf. <laughs> my dwarf. I'd, at, I'd still be at 18 though, but yeah. it's... Dude. Anyway, but... You're 6 HP, David. Or Grim. Yep. You can just update it on the uh, token. Okay, here we go. I got you. Actually, a little bonus section. Yes, yes. Alright. The northmost one. And fire. I'll never guess. Uh... Oh my gosh, it disappeared. I think I accidentally just deleted it. What did you do? Eldritch Blast. Yeah, you did delete Eldritch Blast. I thought you were just looking at your gifts earlier. It's just a charisma spell attack. Yeah. And then a d10 for damage. So, I mean, could just be a d20 plus 5 for your attack roll. Yeah. I think I have to turn Billy up. Alright, yeah, 17 hits. And this guy? Yes. Alright. Uh, well, there's a chance you don't kill him, but let's see. This is D10 plus D6. Yep. Yeah, alright. He uh, looks like he's grabbing another spear to throw, and then you just blast him straight through the eyes. Falls over dead. Gotta blow the smoke off my fingers. You smell a strange smoke as you awaken Sigmund. <laughs> I wipe the drool from my mouth and reach for my family axe. It's not there. What? And I, in a rage, I leave the tent with just like my armor and my shield and I say, Which one of you took my family axe? And I walk up to this guy. That I was our boss, him. Boris! <laughs> I'm gonna hit this guy in the balls with my shield. Okay. So he's gotta make athletics. Oh! How far can I move? That's too far. Yep. Okay, so he is prone. Yep. Uh, and... Uh, 
pop him in the head with the shield. The blood starts leaking out of his ears and his nose. That is my turn. Alright. Nico. Aha. Uh -huh. I peek around from the tree. And this time I summon a special hand around this guy's throat. What'd you got? Um. Top or bottom? Uh, this Very guy top. right here. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Ah! And then I used my bonus action to generate temp HP for my armor. Nice. Argus, this man just got hit in the balls, and then bosh, bashed in the face. I nod to you as you ever you were the one who taught me that technique. <laughs> I lad, it was well done. It looks really now you awkward just when he does him it. Off. You just step over and boot. You have advantage also? Uh, yes. They did dead. He's dead. <laughs> like, this laddie, and he fucking just you smack him so hard his head spins around. Hey, see? That's the way it's supposed to be. Hey, right. there's one left over there. Go get him. He messes with his spear. <laughs> It'll never take me alive! Is that, over, is that Nico over there? Why is he behind the tree? Grim. We don't want you alive! I like go one night without getting stabbed. That'd be fantastic. I didn't stab you! Swing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I didn't stab you. Oh, you don't take me alive, you can't let any chop his head off. <laughs> What? Thank you, Grim. He thanked me by helping me with this bleeding. <laughs> For sure thing. I look through their belongings for my belongings. They don't have your belongings. What no! Do have? You find four gold. Could have been your gold. I give everyone one gold. Appreciate you. <laughs> they don't mind. They've taken my family axe. How'd you lose it? I don't know. It's a flashback to you on... throwing it at some guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, if uh, the rest of you better than the Zoom fellows, I doubt it's going to be much of a problem getting it back. Maybe don't they left the trail. Can I see like what direction they came from, or if they look like? Well, you can assume based off the directions you were given about where to find them in the first place that they're probably are the same ones that you're supposed to go clear out from the ruins. You didn't get an exact number of how many there were, just that there were uh, there were more than a dozen, but less than two dozen. So you just took care of four of them. Should we bring back their ears? I mean, if we're gonna do that, you might as well bring back their, their whole heads. All right, I reach for I reach for my axe. It's not there. Sure. Ah! The whole thing. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they're not that I heavy. I feel like your ears is good enough. Yeah, but they could be anybody's ears. You want to make sure you know, they see their faces. Do Do they just have like a symbol or something to show who they're affiliated with? They just kind of look like peasants. They, they've turned a life of banditry. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'm strong. I'll carry enough. Can I just start like taking their heads and like bandoliering them together on my hip? If you want to. <laughs> start severing. I start severing the heads that I didn't kill. That's a bit macabre, there, don't you think, Lud? Yeah. Well, you know. Hey, I'm gonna have a look around and see if I can find it which direction he came from. Alright, so 
So you go do that. Nico, you know that the, you don't need the heads. They just, if anything, it would just be the leader's head to know that you probably killed the rest of them already. Grim, you'd also probably remember that, but I don't know if you care. We don't. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't really care at this point. All right. So you go look to see where they came from. Um, you guys are in like basically on the border of the, this square to this one, where it, the region where they said they would be. Oh, sick. Okay. Arrows. Unless the, like a rain comes overnight, like you're still gonna be able to find their trail in the morning. It heads like west, northwest, up into some hills. We were just like bedding down for the night, right? When yeah. it happened, or it was like first watch. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Which watch was it? Third watch. You ruined your beauty sleep. Yeah. Oh, I gotta use my hit die now. I took right. damage. We here. could finish the rest and then yeah. go after them in the morning. They will want late for that one. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. All right. So you all settle down for the night. And looking over their equipment, it all of it looks like shoddy and scavenged. With some of the armor they're wearing, it just looks more like leather scraps than actual armor. And so, you all rest for the night. And it is now morning. I go to my cart of chickens pulled by my duck numbers. <laughs> you, you really bought that shit? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't help with free eggs, dude. That's gonna happen. We're gonna put together a fucking Red Dead caravan. I'm with it. Uh, <laughs> all right. Terrible rations for morning breakfast and then a hunt? Of course. Yep. I get up. Very sluggishly, but I get up. Yeah. Can I, uh... Wait, actually, my feature, my background feature, the uh, Outlander, I can just find food, right? Yeah, and whenever I ever really made you guys roll to get food. All right. So after I say the terrible ration thing, I just like pull out like some freshly caught uh, game that I got, and I put it on the table. I'm just fucking with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I could have made it taste better anyway. Well, you my are the cook. Light. My face lights up because I actually thought you were serious. <laughs> no, you need to eat your protein if you're going to hunt bandits. Fair. Direction. This so way. Ar huh? Argus is rather furiously scrubbing spots of blood off of his shield. Can I keep that from rusting, huh? Would you like uh, some help? Maybe all right, lad. Uh, it's it's less about the rust. That would actually do more damage to them, I think. So just a little thin layer, you know. But uh, it just. Something about a nice clean shield. Presentation, first impressions, and all that. What do they say? Cleanliness is close to godliness. Uh. Uh. Sure. Honestly, I just don't want the smell. It's an axe bugs. Fair. I've gotten a bit nose blind to it, to be honest. Is that what it's like living with Goliath there, lad? Is, is that how you deal with the smell? You just go blind to it? You know what? Yeah, because none of, none of them actually ever really complained about it, ever. Huh. Now that you think, that's actually a very good point. <laughs> well, I mean, look at the dwarves. We live underground, sealed tunnels, closely packed together, and we work really hard. Really like sealing that flavor. Too.
Well, it looks like the trail leads off about that way. Points off towards the north northwest. Well, after we're finishing, I'm ready to go. So. Whoever has my axe will pay with their life. Really love that axe. It is my family's axe. You already got a lot of specific details on it. Hey, what does it look like? I don't even know what it looks like. Oh, it's like there's a stick part, right? And it, it has this metal. <laughs> kind of <a> page. <laughs> It has this metal end on it. He's, I'm laughing. He's totally straight faced. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that is an axe. Right. I had you a drawing of a basic axe. The guy, that's it. You know, that's the one. <laughs> you don't got like a, like your initials on it, like nothing. In initials. Okay. All right. Well, I'm, I'm gonna just start collecting axes. I'll dump the pile in front of you, and you just pick whichever one's yours. I like this game. Alright. Let's get after them. Go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you head off going west, northwest. You see spots of wild animals, but for the most part, they avoid you. And, can anyone make me a perception check actually before you leave camp? Oh, you can uh, do that. One person? So it doesn't matter. Not as many people want to. <laughs> Gross. Oh, I'm on advantage. That's not correct. Well, you rolled an 18 for your first number. Incredible. <laughs> We've got the first session cursed, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> so, Grim. While everyone yes. else is just looking around, you know, making sure that there's nothing else around you in the night, you see, like, some... It looks like there was like some a bear tracks maybe or just like a bear dragged one of the corpses away from the camp last night oh. i i make it i make an immediate appeal to everyone's like hey yo i just start waving my hands and i start pointing towards these tracks these guys look blood trail something big took one of the bodies can i uh roll survival see if i can determine what it was Sure. Eleven. I mean, it's got big old paws. I like a little bit of claw prints. Probably a bear. Hey, it looks like a bit of a bear. I mean, if he took one of the bodies, he's probably going to be well fed. Should be at eight. You guys want it for a pelt? Mm, we don't have time. All right. Up to you. I'm ready to move on with his accent if we don't want to go after the bear. I'd like a nice towel out of it. First. Fair. How far away is this place? Because if anything, we just go there and come back for the animal. I put a hand on your shoulder. There will be more bears to kill. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're one of them leading behind us instead of us having to go look for it. This is true. All right, let's go after the thing. Bandits. Now we just marvel at the beauty of nature, and I look at the the drag marks of the corpse and point you. <laughs> it's like a toe that got left behind. Yeah. It's it's all a beautiful cycle. Cycle. It's a circle of life. <laughs> it's a circle. Now, let's, in the song. now let's go return some Appreciate bandits to the earth. Thus shall we return. So, you head off going west-northwest until... Uh, it doesn't take very long. The tracks are fairly obvious. They made no attempt to hide anything. It looks like some of them were partially run over by, like, rabbits and wolves. But uh, You can follow it well enough with your 20. And eventually you come upon... The uniquely Ikoran architectural style, which looks like geometrically shaped marble, white stone that easily stands out amongst the lightly forested landscape of the hills. Now, this is where the problem comes in, because the tracks sort of disappear once they hit the ruins. 
So how do you guys want to go about determining where it is? Because they, they could be around the next corner, the bandits, or they could be like a few miles away. So how do you want to approach it? You guys want to oh. go in quiet? We should probably go in quiet right until we see somebody, no? Uh. <laughs> Argus looks down at himself, looks at you, looks down at himself, holds up this bit of a chain shirt, drops it with a loud clink. He's like, lad, I ain't doing nothing quietly. <laughs> Does not seem to be the group for quiet. Okay. I think charge in brazen. Is, well, all <laughs> caution is necessary. Look for traps. But I could actually send him up my fox and send him on ahead of us. Just in case they are waiting around. Scout the path. Look for traps. I don't see anything wrong with maybe some of us trying to be sneaky as well. Use a distraction if we need. If you can be. Hey, I'll just stay right up front and center, and uh, if they're gonna come at anyone, they can come at me. It's fine. So there, there's like ruins, like a like a dungeon. Think of like, like the a... alien ruins from like Oblivion, like scattered all across the landscape. Is going underground as well. Yeah. <clears throat> They're probably in the caves. It wouldn't surprise me. We'll give it a try. Ah. Why does it keep doing that? I have You're super door. quiet. Yeah, right. Yeah. Nico and Duke just sort of disappear. <laughs> I don't understand why it keeps doing the double. I have it on set to normal. Because for heavy armor, it's automatically calculated, giving you disadvantage. Uh. So, you begin skulking <laughs> with Argus just walking ahead. <laughs> yep, shield out, Morning Star in hand. Just. Yeah. Walking yeah. slow, keeping my eyes and yeah, head on a swivel. You're scanning the nearby area and you don't detect anything, really. Set eight, keep walking forward, right up to the gate. So you walk up to one of the. What, I mean, it looks it's some elvish crap, but it looks like a door, a weird marbled stone door that an elf made. For the door, nonetheless. Stand in front of the door, look back out to the where the rest of the party's just sort of disappeared, except Sigmund, who I can clearly see. I'm hiding behind right, a tree. Right <laughs> there. It's I just am. right there. I mean, uh, I wave. I was just like, hands up in the air, shrugs. Uh, <laughs> knock. <laughs> no just response. Big old. Thunk, thunk, thunk. No response. Thunk, thunk, thunk. You know, you're, you're beginning to think there's nobody in there. Hey. Boot. All right, all right. I walk out from the from myself. Let me check it out. Oh, I'm just kicking the door. Hard. Does it, do, does it say anything in Elvish? No. I think I need that little scribblies. Did you try opening it? Hey, right, give me a strength check. Try and kick the door open. Maybe it's a pull. <laughs> <laughs> strength or athletics? He's, he's, no, it's just strength. Because you, you like can't get an actual grip on it. Mm. So you boot the door and you stumble backwards like a few feet. A really hard door. Actually built that very proper. Wouldn't think it looking at it. I want to just like check the ruins out, see if I like recognize architecture or know anything about it. I mean, if you read anything about like Acorn history or just the history of the region that you grew up in, you'd know that these ruins can be found all over the place. 
And they just mirror the architectural style of Ikora itself. Do people normally, like, go down into these places, or are they usually pretty well sealed? Um, they're, usually you can just walk right into them. There's nothing special you have to do. So if a, if one of them is sealed, it means, well, someone went inside and sealed it. Or there's a cave-in because these places have been plundered and people have messed around in them for centuries now. Did it look like from, like, us walking around that the bandits went in there? Give me a survival check. Or investigation, actually. In this case. You're investigating Dude. here. The first session curse, I swear. Well. Nico starts looking around for a bit. What are the rest of you doing? I'd like to open the door. I'm going to try to pull it open instead of push it in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 Store's fucking heavy, man. <laughs> you don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, you saw his muscles are bulging and tensing, and it looks like he's about to pull something, and he just lets go. For like uh, two minutes. No, you're right, it's a sturdy door. <laughs> hey? Does it actually have a handle? There's like a little handle in the center you could like reach in and grab. I don't think your character would have like noticed it though. They're just like, oh, it's elf crap. Let me just kick it open with your experience yeah. with elves. <laughs> There's nothing on it. What? What is it? There's elven on the on the door itself. No. Nope. It, was it just looks like white marbled stone, and there are like some carvings of like animalistic figures. And actually, uh, does anyone speak Infernal? Uh, no, but I do have stone cunning. We'll post that in chat so I remember what the hell it does because nobody ever plays it for from my game. Uh, it, it gives, um, like I get, um, proficiency with history, uh, when it, as related to stone things. I don't even have it built onto my character for some reason. Okay, so. I do not speak Infernal. Neither do not either. I mean, you probably have heard about the Icorn Elves, mainly because, you know, dwarves and elves, they always have their little rivalries. And the Icorns and their empire were like, there was a civil war that went on, and then they became devil worshippers, as, like, Shaitan is the one true god, etc., etc. I'm just giving you, like, the small gist of it, because, like, I, I doubt Argus was like, yeah, I'm going to go read some library books about elven history. So, yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, I'm not even going to make you roll if the stone cutting does all that. So, this was constructed after that event took place. Or after their whole civil war. And it looks like it hasn't really been disturbed. And, like, I mean, shit, since you were probably back living at your original home. Like, some people have pawed at it or tried to open it, but it doesn't look like anyone's actually opened the door. Hmm. Like, over a hundred years. No tool marks or anything that's evident? There's some, like, with your fine dwarven eyes, you can see that the uh, people try to, like, pick axe part of it, and it just, just wouldn't budge. That's a proper door. Well, lads, I don't think they went in this one. Is there any other way they could have gone around here? Okay, so were you doing anything, Grim? Or Duke? I mean, it, if the door is made of stone, right? I can't use, like, mason tools to try and take it down. Either. Like, yeah. You already said there was people trying to pick at it. Yeah, but you haven't tried. All right, well, I want to try with tools. Uh, what input value should I put on it? Uh, just a strength check. Are you trying to like pry it or use your brain or what? I'm trying to fucking chip this thing. I'm just to weaken it so it cracks right. or something. Get rid of this fucking. You just tink, 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 tink. And then after doing that for about 10 minutes, you finally start to break part of it away. And you think, like, huh, we really got something going here. Now, maybe they could try and open it. Or you could try. Alright. I'm gonna try and open it. Athletics. 
Yeah. You doing well, anything, dude? Can I aid him? Can I aid yeah, him? Yeah, sure. I didn't want to vanish. Yeah. You trying to do anything, Duke? Uh, it looks like they got it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> She's just sitting there eating some rations. Yep. <laughs> and just all the guard labor. Because of your mason tools, you lowered the DC. So, yeah, you rip it open after it feels like it's stuck. And then a bunch of stones start, like, falling out. And then you see, like, well, a skeleton that was crushed by the stones fall out. And it just breaks into a bunch of pieces. And it looks like he was holding something in his hand that is now under some of the rubble. And as that happens, Nico, you walk back around the corner and you're like, you, well, you figured out where the bandits went. As you what? see all this shit pour up. <laughs> what are you guys doing? The bandits oh. went this way. Oh, I just wanted this open. <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> they were taking so long. I mean, it was. Make me pretty curious to see what's in there. <laughs> what's in that? What's in the skeleton's hand? Uh, the gold necklace. Or 25 gold. Sick. Give me that. Congratulations, you guys. You beat a door. It only took like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's an accomplishment. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're speedrunning. That was a DC 20 <laughs> to open that door before the Mason's tools. <laughs> nice. Gold necklace. 25 gold. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's always the fucking doors, man. DC so, 20 at level 1 is not easy. It, well, it had a bunch of rubble and crap behind it. Well, it explains why it was so hard to open. Yeah. Uh, Nico, you said you found where they went? Yeah, they went that way. And if you're curious, you could clear the way and then go explore that ruin, but you don't really have time to do that now. I mean, you technically do, but if you want to make time to do it, you can always come back here later. I think we should go get his axe and we'll come back here later if we need to. So I should make a real red mark. That looks like... a among us figure whatever it's <laughs> us <laughs> yeah so uh nico you follow the trail and you come upon some overgrown walkways that will lead you straight to where you think the bandits are because i mean you hear some chatter off in the distance but it's well i mean you know how voices can carry in like a mostly empty uh area that you just carry on because there's no other real sounds. Like, there's some animals and mm -hmm. stuff, but the human voices pierce through the air. Yeah. So. Okay. Do we want to try and sneak up on them? Hey, we might as well try. I think it just takes some pot shots at them, honestly. Well... You lads know I'm not so great at the sneaking, so I'll, I'll take the direct approach if some of you want to take the non-direct approach. Okay. I'll go with you, old man. Aye, good call, lad. Nice, strong shield wall. Ah, well, doesn't make sense to leave you guys by yourself. Yeah, I'll try to to go the sneaky route. All right. The all right. So, all right. So us three will go. We'll, we'll, we'll push it up front, and then you guys, you know, cover the rear. Get some. Get some distance. Now, do you want to try to approach them from the east, west, north, or south? Is there a way that? We could tell quickly that seems like there's like a hill or like maybe higher ground on them. There's more forest and just ruins to the south and the west. While there's a great place to take cover in the southeast. So it's up to I you. Wanna, I want to come from the southeast. Okay, so... I'd be coming out in the open, like from 
a clearly visible area once you know give the others a chance to get set up but then yeah. just like drag just yourself to where you want to be um oh wow is the top north yeah okay Um, where's my character? Duke and Nico, you can just pretty much be off the map. So don't worry about that. Okay. I mean, you still need to put yourself on it. Just wouldn't worry about the positioning. Which one has my ass? Yeah. And so, if you guys want to come from the main road, it would be like over here, the east. Work. Right along this wall. Okay, everyone on the map? Yeah. Look here, lads. I oh, got some folks approaching. How are you gonna give up your stuff? Says this guy. Hello, friend. Which one of you is the leader? Right, it's a fucking Thulean. Our leader is downstairs. All right. Well, we've come to take his head. So thank you for the information. You're welcome. And he pulled up his, he picked up his spear and goes ready to throw. So. Me, Davy. Yes. 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 And Nico, you have surprise. Let's go. Is he up on a on like a ledge? Yeah. Okay. Da, 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 da. How, how high up the ground is he? He's not on the initiative. I'd probably be over here. Oh. oh. Every time I do initiative, it's never put. You gotta anywhere. click on your token. Uh, let's right. see. Where is your... Can we just reroll? I just There's added you to the turn order. You can just change it manually. Yeah, it didn't add me in either. It I says you have 3.1. first. I did. Are you dead? Oh, I don't know. You're uh, number. You got an initiative. Oh, three. yeah. I'm just way the hell down there. Okay. Well, you rolled a five, so you're not at the very bottom. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, so yeah, here you go. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this guy in the middle with my light crossbow. This boy. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Take your shot. Nineteen. Hits him. When he kind of stumbles. Like, ah! Yeah, what was that? And then we go through the entirety of the initiative order, and it's your turn again. I shoot him again. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, he wouldn't have advantage anymore. But okay. still, he's dead. <laughs> he shoot him, and he goes like, he dramatically goes like, ah! And then falls off oh. to the side and dies. Wilhelm scream? Yeah. Ah! Grim. How high is this thing, uh, the thing in front of me? How high up is it? Ten. Ten feet. Ten feet. Alright, All right, well, I'm just gonna shoot him then. Down here. Let's go normal. Oh. It jams. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, no. This fucking... Well, it's always the up. fucking crossbow. I nod, like you shot him, and then I go, wait, click? And I look. <laughs> it didn't work. Ah, uh, piece of junk. I move over here behind... I think this is cover. Uh, are you down there? Yeah. Okay, okay, so you're not on top of it. So he runs over to you. And hucks a javelina at you, ten feet away. Two damage. Oh. And then he drops off the side, to recover. And this guy is taking a piss, but none of you can see that. So he puts his dick away and then runs running over. <laughs> <laughs> so he only gets his move action. 
go. Uh, actually, no, it's one. Fifteen. It runs over here. This is movement. Duke. Um, would it be fine as a? Okay, we could say that kind of some preparatory armor bag at this. If you want to. Actually, I only have one spell slot, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, how would you, what you want to do with your spell slot? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna cast hex on the guy closest to me. Okay. Was it worth it? Good thing you hexed him. <laughs> He's yep, dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had three HP. He's like, get that crossbow guy! You just fucking. Boom. Kill him. And this guy! Runs over here. And sees you two. Who's he gonna throw it at? Well, he saw the dwarf first, actually, so he's gonna throw it at the dwarf. Yeah, 20. Ow. Hit you for four. Okay, hey, that'll drop my temp HP off. Three, four, five, six. Oh, this, this, dude, you're going to have so much cover against this shot. What's half cover? I'm pretty sure that misses. Uh, plus two. Uh, so it'd be more than that, it'd be like three fourths. So yeah, that just misses hitting Sigmund. Just clanks off your shield. Good guy. I mean, one guy shot a laser beam, the other dude shot a crossbow. Actually, fuck that. Dude shot a laser beam. So, he throws his javelin at you at disadvantage, it misses. He is now, I think, yeah, there are runes in the way. So Slim, you have like pretty decent cover against this guy, but you can't attack him unless you move. Because of the way it's all angled. Actually, you're way off the map. That guy just disappears. Sigmund. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, I move to this guy. And then, I bonus action hit him in the knees with the shield. That's terrible. Ah! He is prone. My knee! <laughs> and then I bring the shield down on his head. Okay. Well, he had 2 HP to start with. <laughs> <laughs> so you cleave this man partially in half with your shield. <laughs> Where's my family axe? <laughs> looking at the rest of them. Argus. Uh, how far can I move here? How does this work? Boo. How did you move so far? Okay, well, I can move to there. Uh, can I see this guy? No, he's around the corner. You probably see the upper half of this dude. How far away is he? Too far. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm just gonna be moving up to here and nice, slow, steady with uh, taking cover behind the shield. I believe that's the dodge action. Yeah. This guy can see you plainly. Actually, there's like some minor cover. Pew! His crossbow jams. <laughs> hey. He starts banging it. He goes, oh shit, and jumps off the side. <laughs> <laughs> Which, that part's actually higher up. It's like 15 feet high, so he actually has to make a check to not eat shit. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude, this guy is... He barely made it. This guy. I don't even think he could throw his javelin far enough to hit you, Slim. So. 
or Nico, so I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think so, because I don't even think I'm in his range. I'm in, he's in my range. Disadvantage, Chuck. Nope. Duke, there's just a bunch of javelins flying out of fucking nowhere at you. <laughs> Where the hell? Where the hell? He's coming from. <laughs> Nico. <laughs> I want to move in range. Okay. To the dude so I can hit him without disadvantage, maybe. This guy? Yeah. I mean, you just have to move west. Alright. So you don't have to worry about stuff. Alright, I shoot at that guy. Seventeen. Hit him straight in the throat, he gurgles on it and then falls over. Grim. I can climb, so what do I need to do to climb up this? I get only like to lose half it my just, speed or It something? just takes half your movement to climb up, so instead of moving 5, you'd move 10 feet, and then you still have 20 feet left. Okay, so I'm gonna be up here. So I can go up here, and then... Fucking... He's far, he's too far down, I can't swing at him. Dark Souls drop attack. Yeah. I'm, Hit him with the jump attack. I'm doing it. Okay. You drop attack him and cleave him in half. Yes. Okay. Right, that's me. This guy. Can see you, but you're far as well. You're far away. So he throws a javelin. He just bounces off the wall behind you. Actually, could he see that? He saw some guy just get drop attacked and split in half. Another dude got cleaved in half by a shield. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he just looks. Nope. <laughs> He's like 10 Leave feet off the map. <laughs> Leave your stuff or I'll hunt you down. He just, like, he just heard all his shit clang. Like, he just clanged and he just sprinted away. Yeah. Good. Actually, wait, he's, yeah, he's just fleeing, so... Let's see if he actually can get that far. Nope! So, Nico, you see him go, fuck that! And then start running, drop his stuff, and then just eat shit falling off there, and then get up <laughs> and stumble further. Well, nope, 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 nope! <laughs> Duke. You heard that, but you didn't get to see it. <laughs> Got read up. Section. Edge to this guy over here. Mm -hmm. Singed part of his body off. The bandit. He didn't see the dude get chopped out by the shield. So he's gonna be done. I think, yeah, you already guys already killed the dude talking shit about the lands. This guy runs up. He shoots his crossbow at you, Grim. He just got it unjammed and he's like, oh wait, no, that's the wrong guy. The jammer's over there. This guy's arrow plops five feet in front of you, though. So he didn't draw it properly. Jackass. He runs at you and it goes to stab for yeah an 18 for five damage. Turns up and stabs you in the gut. Spears are serious. But apparently that's the only thing I hit with. <laughs> so we're Sigmund. Uh, let's see. It's my turn. Okay. Argus. Much the same. It's just going to be going for a bit of a run. I'll be 25 to there. The juggernaut's increasing his speed. Yes. 
<laughs> we'll head up here and take cover behind that pillar. Yeah. Oh, actually, Man. I do have a bonus action. Can I knock this guy prone? I'm sorry. What's up to you? Let's see. Make me two athletic strikes. First one's oh, to jump up and hit, swing at him. See if you can get high oh, enough. Oh, he's up on it. Yeah. He's up on a lit. All right, you jump high enough. Terrible. And then you kind of like, you jump high enough and you're like, yeah! Ah! You kind of hit him in the knee and he's like, ow! <laughs> and then you come back down. Okay. He's like, son of a bitch! <laughs> and then this guy. You only get like here. And we'll see. Physics. So... You, Grim, because you're not, you can't hide behind a pillar. Yes. 15 misses. Just hits your armor. It's stuck in it. Here you go. Ugh. I want to shoot at the guy running away. Okay. <laughs> Just enough to kill him. <laughs> he, like, That's turns cool. and looks like, I need to get the fuck out of... Grim. Uh, I got a clear shot of the guy in front of Sigmund, or is... Yeah, he's just out in the open. All right, sick. I'm going to take a pot shot out. I'm going to hit something with a fucking crossbow. The crossbow jammed, though. No, it's just right. a flavor thing. It's basically he went to fire oh. and it jammed, and he just yeah. smacked it. Okay, A few yeah, times. Yeah. That hit? Hell yeah, you killed him. Yeah. Move behind cover over here. Nice. Tim straight in the chest. This guy! Guys? <laughs> What's he doing? Running through his piss. <laughs> Duke. Well, uh, but this guy is right above me. I will, uh, you all cat moving blade. It was unnecessary, probably. But oh, uh, throw it on there. All right. He might run away pissing himself, dude. Who knows? You got a walk in or what's it? What's your weapon? Well, I, just, I don't have my sword yet, so I have a quarter staff right now. <laughs> Alright. As he's running up, if that hits. It does. It's as he's running up, him. I just baseball bat his jaw. <laughs> you, yeah, you. Wave your hand over the quarter staff and it gets some thunderous energy and you bitch slap him in the head and it makes a loud cracking sound and he goes flying like 10 feet and dies. Damn, it's very. Yeah. Sigmund. Ah! This is. Alright, and then. Oh, shit. I'm gonna crank him with the shield. Okay. That was far. That's terrible, goddamn. Yeah, ah! I got him anyway. Falls <laughs> over. Argus. Oh, oh, it's running. Uh, yeah, that's uh move and a sprint so I don't think I get a, an attack action after that do I nope unless you take a specific feat nope not yet no, you've got something to throw at him you can throw something at him oh I, I can throw a light uh, the hand axe at him yeah. oh wait never mind I forgot you're a dwarf <laughs> not that fast yeah no uh, it's 25 move speed so I surrender move and dash 
You want to show us where your boss is? Yeah. Okay. I that sounds out. good. Thank you. <laughs> like, fuck you. You've been hitting everyone on the knees and balls, so he's just like, ah. <laughs> Nico. I'm gonna walk back up to everybody, I guess. Okay. Uh, just move yourself like your move action. You're moving um, dash, Grim. Go. Go. Alright, um. Oh no, this is a ledge, so I can't even get up there if I wanted to. You may not have check, or you can just walk up the stairs with a dash action. Uh, I'll do an athletic check to try to hop up on this ledge. Okay. Let's do this, let's do the... Uh, da -da -da. You get up and you like, sort of, sidestep up and roll, and stand up. Alright, do I have a clear shot now of the guy homeboy in the woods? Sort of? Or did you try and shoot him? Nope, jammed that seems, again. That seems he's jammed shit. again. You're like, <laughs> man, that was a sick vault up, and you just crossbows jammed again. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I it up through the pillars. I'm fucking smacking the hell out of it. I'm like, why is this thing so garbage? Ah! <laughs> he just runs. Get him later. Okay, hand me your weapons. They're on the ground. All right. Now, if you cooperate, we'll tell everyone that you did, and then they will go. Uh, well, not so harsh on you. Or, or, or how about I I show you where he is, and then I run into the woods, never to be seen again. Hmm. I'm done with my life of crime. Can I roll insight? Yeah, sure. Is you believe that in this moment, he is done with his life of crime. But how do I, how do I really know you're done with crime? We're going on a crazy journey. You can come with us. It'll be fun. Uh, no. I don't want to do that. Okay, where is your boss? He's, uh, downstairs past the... the traps, empty chambers, the ogre zombie, and the rust monsters. Okay, show us where the traps are and we'll let you go. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nico, how did you approach over here? Did you just walk along the ground? I forgot that was muted, yes. Okay, then yeah. This guy's smart. Argus is just keeping an eye out for anybody else coming in. You're smart enough to surrender. <laughs> it's more wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> he saw the consequences of his actions. And the sheets are broken. Nice. Okay, cool. By the way, have you seen that cave? What does it look and like? It's axe! We've seen lots of axes. <laughs> it looked like, and I just started describing a regular axe. You have a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> have like a family name on it or? No, just an axe. Oh. I'll show the picture I drew. That, did. that, that looks like one. an axe. <laughs> 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 I didn't know you were an artist, dude. And just one of my many talents. He's smart as fuck. Okay. Uh, actually, Zad. If I show you a shortcut, will you let me go? Uh, sure. Okay. Right? I look at everyone. And the traps. Uh, the traps would be you good. You'll yes. be going right past the traps. Alright. Sounds okay. good to me. Okay. So, and he walks over to here and climbs up and then shows you a sewer grate. <clears throat> I, uh... You're standing on top I of it? <laughs> yeah, I'm standing on top of it. Yeah. 
And I put a hand on his shoulder and say, okay, now you can go anywhere you want as long as you give up your life of crime. You know they, uh, they're they looking for capable people to help in Ikora. If you well, want actually, to. you're free to go after you go first. Oh, that's a good point, Nico. He's the smart one. Go down the ladder. <laughs> did, did I get some rope? Yep. I pull out some rope. Okay. He, well, you guys go about removing the grate, and then he shimmies down. And it's like probably like 80 feet down. So he's like, need more rope, need more rope. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like 50 feet down. <laughs> oh shit! I started unspooling another rope. Thank you. And he ties it off and then begins descending. Actually, that's difficult. And it won't let me roll anything. Okay. This. Uh, Damn, he's this great. <laughs> I'm so suspicious. He's ties doing it. so many flips on the rope. Ties it off and then heads down. And now I gotta move where you guys are on this map. Okay, and now I need to delete the fog of war. I can't remember how to do that. Actually, I'll just do it this way. Okay, so you guys descend it downward into the smelly ass sewers, which means you prop. This is probably a long winding journey involving delving through multiple large chambers of ruins but instead you have landed in this weird place where there are a bunch of bones and blood actually have any of you lit a, lit a torch i don't need to well yeah you don't but the rest of them do i don't even think about humans not being able to see I'm, i don't live with humans normally so yeah i see jack i have a lantern i can see pretty good Okay, so one of you, Argus, you see a bunch of bones and stuff. Other people, you crunch down onto the bones as the lantern comes out, and you see a bunch of uh, desiccated and eaten corpses. And the bandit man is hiding in a corner. <laughs> Not from you. What are you hiding from there, lad? But that died. You don't see all the bodies? Hey, you look around, things live down here. They eat things. And so you get that. Somebody you knew. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> you don't know what could cause all this? I mean... What foul monster's lair are we in? I don't hey, you know. said your boss lived down here. Hey, it should be like... Over there. Southeast of ways. Well. Hey, what's the last thing you stole? He pulls out a corn muffin, half eaten. I'm not going to take a man's supper. Hey, hey any you. objections if we just let him go? I mean, he can wait there until we're done. I don't want to back up the rope until we're done. Where are the traps? The, the, back to... The, the, the long way. There's none over here. Okay. Then we will go and take back my eggs. The I hell's going on over there? You hear Hello! it from this way. <laughs> but you don't see anything. You just hear it from the darkness because you have a fucking lantern. <laughs> I, I will light the torch. Okay. Are these walls? Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Boss, there's a light coming. You hear a bunch of grumbling. 
You, where, you let me know where I should stop because I'm just going to run right up to him if I can. Yeah. Not if you're being quiet. No. no. Not even trying. Oi! We're looking for a bandit leader. Bring him out. No! Oh, there's multiple! <laughs> Your lad's upstairs to just sort of kind of pissed off. Hey, alright. What you want? You see? <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, what is it? If fucking the damn Rusties again or the fucking ogre? As you see a bronze skinned human man with a thick beard, unkempt hair, who's wearing studded leather armor. He's carrying a familiar looking hand axe, which to the rest of you just looks like a generic hand axe, <laughs> and a dagger. <laughs> Hanging from his shoulders is also a familiar-looking emerald-colored dragon scale cloak, the mark of the immunes of the Praetorian. My things! I run at it. Your things? <laughs> These are my fucking things! Took them off no! some idiot Oh, you're the idiot Tholian. Let's <laughs> roll initiative. Uh, also, Billy, remember you took five damage. Okay, so you just select the token and click on initiative, right? Yeah. Yeah. But don't start. Yeah. Oh, hey, it actually worked that time. Oh, my initiative sucks. Hey, Billy, stand right here. Yeah. Is that everybody? Mm hmm. My health hasn't gone down. It should be on 10. I put it on 10 in the thing. What do you mean? Might be a visual bug. It still says there. It says thirteen out of thirteen. It shouldn't be that way. It says ten for me. All right. Well, if it says if it's correct on the screen, whatever. It's just weird. Let's keep going. Do, 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 do. Okay. Throw this bandit. He goes. Kerbal out with the dwarf. And then... You're gonna have to tie harder than that, lad. Runs over here. <laughs> Nico. Uh... Oh, yes, very good. I summon my spectral hand on this door in the light. Do it on the left. Hits. Huge damage. He can't regen, dude. <laughs> Alright, the bandit leader. Is he dumb? I guess I dropped my torch on the ground because I cannot cast with it. He runs into Northman, who says that he took his things. And he swings his hand axe. And he swings it again! <laughs> and then he chose to stab you! I need to back my axe! <laughs> Clang. Duke. <laughs> it's not your fucking axe, it's just an axe! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hits. Activated. You mean you could still cast X on him because it's been less than an hour? No. Sweet. With X activated then. Alright. And then he uses his legendary reaction to roll. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, right into the fucking vile water. Yep. This guy runs over here. Most decisive action. Yeah, he's most decisive action. He runs over here and shoots at the guy who just shot a fucking laser beam. And misses. There goes one down. Sigmund. Dang it, boy. <laughs> Come in, I'm prone. It's a fucking difference. 
if that is. Just barely. Twice. He is prone, and now I will swing at advantage. Seventeen. And I will smite him. He parries. Using Whoa. his reaction. I will not smite him. So he goes to charge up and smite, and then he twing, pulls it away. I don't I know, I'll just post in the chat so you guys know that it's an actual thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, that's all I could do. Yeah. Argus. The prone guy who just deflected a smited shield, which looked really weird. Well, uh, that, that's just going to be a morning star to the face. Um, advantage because he's prone. There you go. Right. You hit him for four damage. Because that was the first damage roll. Ah, gotcha. Bandit man. Uh, actually, can I use my bonus action to uh, just kind of plop my ass on top of him to grapple him? If it Keep lets you do that, yeah. Yeah, I can bonus action shove or grapple. Yes, yeah, so you grab him. He's like, the fuck is this? <laughs> Your death! Unit of the dwarf just falls on him. <laughs> he poses and falls on him. <laughs> Form a folder. <laughs> yeah! Disadvantage misses. <laughs> Stop grabbing the captain. Misses. You keep shooting those little pea shooters at us, and you won't have a captain anymore. Ah, oh, disadvantage. Nope. Holy shit, they've been throwing them, Jeff. <laughs> they got a bunch, that's all they got, man. They got pointy <laughs> sticks that they throw and they stab with. <laughs> Grim. God. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just start swinging at this fucking captain guy, alright? Yeah. Land. Yeah. That lands only do a pommel strike. Okay. Did you fuck him up on the ground? I uh, made it. Yep. Runs over. Stop beating the captain! And he shoots at you and hits you. Ah, what the Four or six. It? Yeah. He's what's, what's ten feet away from you. He's shooting at Grim. Ah, uh, right. And uh, you're out of the protection yep. range. Here you go. And he takes one step back. I'm going to kind of like hobble between these guys. Excuse me. And then I'm going to cold cock the fucking guy in the face. Okay. And probably missed. Yeah, you say excuse me and you bust part of the plank on the ground open. <laughs> Watch the beard! Whoops. Bandit leader. What bad? <laughs> well, the one we talk about on a sheet, so this is about to get really thick. So, one at Nico. Disadvantage, the misses. One at Grim. Just smacked the shit out of him. Uh, think you're unconscious, Grim? Yeah. Old man, he's flailing! Hold him down! He flails and smacks as he smacks you in the knee and you fall down. He was able to attack even though he's pinned. His speed's zero and he can't get up from being prone, but he can still attack with disadvantage. And then a dagger at uh, the dwarf grappling him. I think those hit. Or the. Yeah, 21 hits, right? Yep. So you take four. Great. Let go of me! So let fucking go of me. Two. Yeah, well, uh, people start looking like a, like a sickly dark green. 
can build some and then we'll activate the form of dread. Okay. Wait, I want what is that? Camp with my other two players. So the sickening green transformation <laughs> occurs, and then you have like a fucking skull mask for a second. And then my arm spasms as I shoot. Yeah. Well, yeah. And you crater part of this wall yeah. open. He starts running. <laughs> just like, fuck that. Nope. Just drops his crossbow on the ground and just starts taking off. Just like, nah, I'm good. Grim is down? Yeah. The captain's like, still no looking, help. The captain's looking chunky. Okay. I have a better captain's idea. Captain's like half. Oh, Grim, I really wanted to kill him, but whatever. I touch Grim on the face. You get uh, 15 full. health. Uh, and I, I will also fucking hold this guy down, I guess. How, how far down is the water? No, don't throw him in the water. Here's my cape. Like 15, 20 feet. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I've already got this guy kind of pinned and grappled him mostly on top of him already. I'm just going right. to smash his head right into the floorboards like hard. Alright. Can I rip my fucking axe from him? or <laughs> No. Okay. okay. I rolled the morning star, but effect, you know, you for effect. smash him in the face and some teeth go flying out. Yeah. I use the bonus action to maintain the grapple. Yeah. You see an evil look in his eye, Sigmund. Yeah. In, w in which one? The bandit captains. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make him go in the river. <laughs> Uh, well, these dudes are just kind of generic bandits, and they're not used to seeing, uh... El Capitan getting his ass handed to him? More than that, just... This dude just turned into a skelly man, or like a Death Lord skelly man looking dude, and then just shot a laser beam that cratered part of the wall. They're gonna fuck out of here! Is this guy down? No, these guys are pretty smart about getting the fucking out of here. Grim, you are awake. David, you're muted. You almost kill him. As I was he's... just wondering about the advantage, because I'm just up and just pissed off. Hey, you get up, <laughs> Dark Souls roll over, and smash swing, him in swing. the chest, and then bash him, and he's still breathing. You see him just like mouthing "fuck you" at Sigmund. I'm mouthing it back to him. Yeah. Good guy. A little slowly and dramatically. Two, three, four. Ah. Nico. I'm looking at Sigmund. Does it look like he really wants the uh, the sauce? 
I, I'm just like, kill him, kill him! <laughs> okay. Okay. You see him drop his weapons and go to, like, un unclick, like, unclasp the cloak. But he's about to go throw it in the water and you punch him in the fucking head and he dies. <laughs> Thank ah. you, friend. Well, that was fun. They're getting away! Ah! <laughs> Is it, can I tell if all of them are fleeing? Yeah, they're all just like, fuck okay. this, fuck that. Especially fuck you. I'm going to target the guy in the back. Yeah, but I'm starting to move my hex tool. Alright. Blast through his shoulder blade. He just, ah! I'm just gonna yell at, uh. If y'all boys get away, I'll best stay out of trouble. We're gonna have to come looking for you. Which sounds horrifying, currently. But <laughs> the rest of you. This bandit. He can't hit me if I'm in the water! And he jumps in. <laughs> That's psychotic. The water's disgusting. And yeah. because he's dumb and panicking, he doesn't realize that the way the water's going, it takes him right back towards you. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sigmund. I think the fight's pretty much over. Yeah, I pick up my shit. Yeah. Um, and we run down to who we can run down. Should everyone just make me an athletics check? Okay. I'm gonna start taking pot shots at these guys. <laughs> The water. Oof, terrible. Maybe I do need that giant belt. I got somebody. I just only got rolled a seven. So the guy rolled a seven, it gets just murdered. <laughs> uh, somehow, most of the rest of them managed to like actually get away. Duke, you kill another one, and as you're following them, you just hear like this loud, like lumbering. And then one guy just gets splattered around a corner, and then I'm assuming you're just like, yeah, I'm good, and you turn around. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. So, the bandits are defeated. Oh, the book. What was that for information? Hey, that's just, uh... Got the weird magic stuff. It just kind of happened to me one day, and I can't remember much about it, but I don't feel it coming on, you know? What happened? What was that near what you said? Oh, I said, what happened? And that's a long story. I, I don't really remember most of it. In the battle? Did you get hit uh, on the head? No, uh, I guess you didn't see it. It's uh. No, I was beating that man with my shield. <laughs> Remember, he was <laughs> the old man was laying on him, and Grim was beating him. Then Grim fell down, and then I picked Grim up, and then. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of start to glow, you know. Whoa. People kind of look at me funny whenever it happens, but. It looked like a skeleton. Hmm. Strange magics. I start searching this room with, uh... With Argus. Okay. Did you... Did you find their treasure? <laughs> I don't know. Did I? Hey, you guys go searching through stuff. And... Da -da 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 -da. Oh, yeah. You put on your dragon scale cloak, I'm assuming. already know what it does but I'll just show it to you player's journal there's your cloak and the rest of you after rifling through the belongings of the fallen you find a total of 
145 gold. And robbing people for a bit. It's also a split it. Small amulet with inner, tiny interlocking gears, and if you put it near your ear, you can hear a faint ticking sound and some whirring noises coming from within it. Ooh. There's also a metal with what looks like a pie in its center. A black walking cane with gold etchings, and a small mason's jar with a bluish white liquid swirling around inside of it. Tick, tick, tick. I love that sound. You get 29 gold each, no? So do you want to do it that way, or do you want to put it all in a uh, group fund? It's actually a good question to ask now. Because if we do. Group fund is easiest. Yeah, if we do the group fund, it's easier to add up and then split up later on. Alright, we can do it that way. It's fine. Alright, into the bag. Oh. I put it in a bag. Uh, and then what were the other? Sorry, what were the other items? There was the clock amulet. I got a gold necklace. That's twenty-five gold from the marble stone thing. What's the walking cane? What does it look like? Just looks like a walking cane with some gold etchings. Pretty fancy. Walking cane. Fuck. What were the other items? Sorry, I'm writing them down. A metal with a meat pie, a meat pie emblazoned on it. Okay. The anything else? A small mason's jar with a bluish white liquid swirling around inside of it. You don't know what this took is. This must be a medal for winning a meat pie eating contest. I ain't got no better guess. What does this room look like? Just old pipe work. Really? And as uh, everyone's just looking through more stuff, Sigmund, you're like, oh yeah, I got my trusty family axe back. And you open a drawer and you see about 50 hand axes inside of it that look exactly like the one you have in your hand. I'll take a couple. <laughs> you see that picture again for reference. <laughs> I take, you know what? I take them all. You can never be too sure. <laughs> Dum Dum is a bag. Alright, I will take them. Yeah. Alright, that's a hundred pound of carrying capacity of a bag of holding for hand axes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that slime? That's just funny. <laughs> I only grab some that's another hand axe, hand axe, hand axe, another hand axe. Okay. Nope, hand axe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Not sure what these are for. We'll have to check it out later. Well, let's get out of this stinking sewer. That sounds like a damn good plan. Is the dude still hanging out there, or did he yeah. take off? Uh, he's not. I told him not to leave. I don't want him going up the rope yet. I'll take the head of the leader. Yeah, he's still there. <laughs> okay. All right, you can come out now. We're leaving. What would you do with your nude gown freedom? I gonna get the fuck out away from here. You know. Maybe I'll become a baker. That sounds good. I like pie. Me yeah. too. Very good. Wait, you you know what that metal is with the pie on it? I'm wearing it around my neck. <laughs> I, the the pie metal? I don't know. 
Oh, what about the jar with uh, the fancy liquid stuff in it? I, I, you ever seen that before? I, I just watched the entrance, man. Hey, well, worth asking. Okay, up the rope before we get eaten. Start climbing. I mean, some of you might have noticed the hole in the wall down there. That's probably just a tunnel that leads somewhere into Kendrum. Kendrum, do you want to say it? Yeah. Is that something I would have noticed? <laughs> Everybody would have noticed it. It's just been like, that's a big hole in the wall. Probably goes down into the underdark. That's right here. That's bad. Yeah. What? That means something has to be eating all this. Hey, lad, there's lots of things down there that'll eat stuff up here. No shortage. Trust me. We lost a few people tricking an ogre zombie that came in through there. Now it guards part of the trapped entrance. Hey, an oh. ogre zombie. Hey, okay. Uh, yeah, he can stay over there. That's fine. That sounds nasty. He smells pretty bad. And then you guys finish climbing up, and he's just like, okay, so. Can I have a weapon to defend myself? I uh, give him one of the hand axes. We've got lots. I don't know what kind of ba weapon does a baker use. He has a rock. Yeah, give him a rolling pin. That would really hurt someone. Any of you have a rolling pin? No. Give him a hand axe. He can I know, I know, I know. I reach into the bag and I pull the head off of an axe. There you go. <laughs> I give him the stick. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, it's got blood on it. <laughs> hey, anyway, see you later. I hope not. Safe travels. I hope Wait. to try your pies one day. I hope you do too. Then he kind of sits there. All right. Time to go off on my own. And he starts running off into the woods. Or a loud screech followed by the munching sounds. In about 15 seconds. <laughs> How long do you think? Oh. <laughs> there, that's what I was waiting for. And you see him get carried off by this weird, like, stag bird hybrid with blue feathers. Nature oh. is so beautiful. <laughs> Guess we'll never get to have some of those pies. You hear a bunch of squawking. And then what sounds like a cracking sound, and then you see a body fall, like a hundred feet down from the sky, and just pop in the distance. Jeez. I have heard some birds of prey kill for sport. Could have just been the armor he's wearing. At least it wasn't us. Well, the job's done. Make a way back. Yeah. Well, not quite. Now we have we'll to... We have time for... One more. Oh, uh, yeah, that was out to the south across the river there, wasn't it? Yeah. We've seen dragons sworn in the hills there before. Oh. Not those things again. I'd like now, to check out. I've heard you guys talking about that before, but what, what, what's it, Dragonborn? Or Dragon Sworn, sorry. Dragon Sworn are horrible monstrosities that infect people and turn them into, well, more of themselves. They're a plague on this world, friend. Sounds like some mummies are in in two months. Some mummies? Very violent, very nasty. I'd rather hey. not deal with them if we can avoid it, honestly. I don't think I've ever dealt with them before. They're ugly. They're good for target practice. If for they are ugly in the swarm. hills this close to our efforts in Ikora, then they need to be dealt with before they spread. Eddie, hey, well, I trust you, lad. Let's, uh, let's go get us a dragon sword. 
Hopefully it's nothing, but we'll see. So it's going to be about two and a half more days of travel. Sick. During that time, I went to look at the items. We'll cover that during the break. Sounds good. So, you head south for the two and a half days. Does anyone want to do anything in particular? Start just swinging my fucking sword. Just train it. I get them bicep curls in. I would be hunting regularly. Get us fresh food. Um, surveying the area when I can. And keeping an eye out for uh, for danger as we travel. Duke will probably help hunt with hunting to just keep him busy. Yep. I'm at a half jog just to keep up. Something about this feels nostalgic, Duke. <laughs> Something about this feels nostalgic. Man, there really is nothing to say, huh? Out in the woods. Sometimes you just need to be alone and put your feet in the dirt. Yeah. Get you a good ground going. It's a good skill to have. You know, where I'm from, there are many boars to hunt. I think you'd like it too. Yeah, we got quite a few boars down in Sarm. Hey, you should come out to the Umbro sometime. You can find yourself some wyvern. Oh, well, don't get me started about the wyvern fight. I was just a baby. One sting would have killed you or I, and you know it. Hey, we're fine. Look, you're fine. It's just a couple scars. It's good. Builds character. Just a nibble. You guys are insane. Not there fighting giant lizards. Good lord. Oh, they're tasty. Says the one traveling with a herd of half giants. They're fine. They're just another form of man, I guess, right? I, I like fighting bipedal things, not these giant fire-breathing lizards that you guys go after. The wyverns don't breathe fire. They're just big flying lizards. I, have, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I've never seen one. I'll come out to the Umbral sometime. I'll introduce you. Sure. Just mind the bears. Bears are. There's always another bear, Grim. <laughs> There's always a bigger bear. And those do taste pretty good, too. Uh, yeah, but if you see a bear with feathers, just do yourself a favor and run. What? Bye. Owl bears? Yeah, yeah, I wish. You've never seen an owl bear? No, I told you, I'd just go after people. <laughs> what the? Uh, hey, well, think of a bear with a head of an owl. It's about twice as big and twice, like, five times meaner. Owl bear. You know, I, I... That just sounds, just, just sounds ridiculous. I mean, if, if, I, I believe you, but it's like, what the hell? Look one of those eggs for one of Albera eggs one time. They were pretty damn big. Not much farther. Good day. I leave it to the human task. When are we there yet? 
Listen, I don't live as long as you do, okay? I have places to be. <sighs> Always in a rush. Indeed. Set out, you lad. Kind of like you anyway. And we trek on. Yes, as you trek on and round another bend. For a brief moment, Grim, you see a figure robed all in black with a strange looking sword pinned, like, pointed straight downward into the dirt. What? Kind of look at you, acknowledgingly. And then you blink and they're gone. That better not be. Nobody else saw that? Saw what? It, never mind. Jesus Christ. Mouth if he's fall back on her. If he's fall, if he's fall, this is not good. Who is this Jesus Christ you speak? <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I roll perception to see if I freaking pick up where the hell he went? Yes, no. <laughs> My fucking mic did the thing. Yeah, you can run right up to where he was just standing and roll uh, survival. Roll survival? Okay. On normal? Okay. Ugh. You don't see anything. I'll go up. Doesn't even look like the grass was disturbed. Yeah, you can go up to. Can you, uh, can you look at this, please? What are we looking for? Uh, there's a guy. There's a guy that was basically a, uh, a big nuisance to my old, uh, my mercenary band. And I think he's following me, and I hope it's not him. But I just caught a glimpse of something, and it's skeeving me out. You look over there, Argus, there's not even a trace of, like, a footprint or anything. The you grass sure isn't disturbed. Something there, lad. No, he's, I, he's very, very good at what he does. If he, yeah, or, if maybe it's nothing, but I just, just keep an eye up. Hey. Looks around warily. Hmm. quite the rogue. And so now, you camp for another night, continue on, and about half a mile out from where a turn is said to be located, you find something that we'll discuss after the break. Yay. You already know where to do it to him. Yeah, I had to do it to him. <laughs> Alright. So, you are about roughly half a mile out from where Turn said to be located. And you find some blood stains and trampled grass. Trampled by what? So survival will help you with finding the tracks, or where the tracks go, if anyone wants and to give me And identifying what they are. Yes. What would that be for but identifying what? What's that? You can roll investigation to determine what the hell happened. Okay, I would do that. I suck ass. Well, Argus, you find the tracks in about... Probably a minute later, Nico, after combing through some stuff, you see that 
it looks like a man tried to run away this way and he was shielding something and there are also some smaller tracks Argus like maybe child size that continue onward and they look like they got away because the big footprint stopped but yeah it looks like the man was stabbed in the back and then dragged back uh, towards the village At least they let the, the wee one go. <clears throat> what do you think did this? I right, tell me, Ken. I am not sure. Good. Well. Does it seem like they're... Sorry, does it seem like they're still... This is a village that we're coming up on. Yeah, where they they said they lost contact with the village like a month ago. Yeah, we're not actually in the village yet, though. And none of the scouts have reported back either. We're sent to investigate. There's definitely something here. Aye, that much is obvious. Well. Shall we go find that village and see what we can see? <clears throat> We're ready for anything. Ready to go. And very well. Okay. <laughs> Knew I forgot some ambience. Whatever. It don't matter. So, you head towards the village, and there seem to be some trampled uh, tracks grass, looks like some wild animal tracks have come through in the past few days and you come upon well at first you just see more and more abandoned homes and it looks like people tried to barricade themselves inside of some of these homes and the doors were kicked in or parts of the walls were broken down and people are dragged out But as you get closer towards the center of town, it looks more like the other places were, well, whatever did this, just kind of waltzed in. There wasn't really a struggle. Just kind of went into the buildings, took people out. Does this look like a dragon sworn attack? Uh, usually there's more carnage if this were to be one I guess there's like, is... what's up no go ahead sorry it's just like lots of creatures will you know, break into people's houses and kill them and drag them out and... but usually there's more bodies decayed remains you know whatever did this doesn't even seem like it was wounded because you're just seeing what looks like you know human blood So something, something, it looks like many tracks also. Tracks all over the place. Yeah, so some, a group of things came in here and just had their way with the place. Yeah. Any way to tell how many? Give me, uh, well, if you're proficient in investigation checks, give me an investigation check. Yeah, Piece together the crime scene. Yeah. I can do survival help out that way for the investigators or not well, I can investigate yep, no, I'll <laughs> uh, be investigating awesome All right. <laughs> go <laughs> you guys are coming Level through two. stuff <laughs> yeah you guys are coming through stuff like mm, yeah so they might have taken them this way or maybe it was that way was it over there and well, got tracks here. Yeah, well, there's also tracks over that way, but they, I, 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 I don't even know. And eventually, both of you come to the well in the center of the center of town, and there is a very foul stench coming from the well, as well as some cracks in the earth around it. There's also a bloody knife that's on the ground next to the wall. I check out the knife. 
It looks like it was carved from obsidian. Which? Special knife. Yes. Okay, I'll pick it up. Alright. Feels Is like the whole thing obsidian or just the blade? The blade. The pommel looks like it was made from uh, steel and leather. That was a tricky material to work with. Hmm. Yes. This is odd. Well, I think he went down the well. Really? What gave that way? I shined my light down the well. You see a bloated corpse in the well. Something's dead in the well. Don't drink the water. Drink the water. <laughs> yep. Now, if you want to give me a perception check while you're looking, sure. Maybe you can spot it. Nico, you look at the knife, and then you look at the man's throat. Looks like he cut his own throat and threw himself down the well, rather than be captured. Hmm. Well, I don't think that helps at all. Whatever it was was so terrible that he killed himself. And upon saying that, you remember, you have a memory of Varathos telling you that during the Dragon War, people would rather cut their own throats and throw themselves to the wolves than be captured and turn into one of them. This does not bode well. We need to find where they went. Hey, but the tracks are everywhere. It's not really possible to tell where they went. At the very least, we need some kind of proof. <laughs> you spot some larger footprints heading to the, the southeast. It's like how much proof. larger? Bordering on huge. Human huge? Like a giant? Or bear? Like? Kinda. It looks humanoid. Humanoid footprints. They look like they were made by boots. Actually, if it looks like these, probably he would do it But uh, if if Argus was to lay down on the boot print, how big would the boot print be? <laughs> Bigger than two and him a half feet ish. Small? Okay. So pretty big, but not ginormous. So not giant size. Uh, ogre, maybe. Only one way to find out. Well, he's wearing boots, so not one of the types that's prone to be barefoot out here. Well, easy enough to follow these. Is there anything I can roll to remember about like possible larger uh, dragon sword? I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll take they'll anything. Turn they'll turn exactly. anything into dragon sworn. Oh, it just doesn't matter the race, right? Yeah. Never been the way. It only matters the type, really. Yeah. Which basically, if it's undead, it won't do anything. But everything else, fair game because they're alive. What's up, construct? Never mind. Some proof would be helpful. We need to follow the tracks. Okay, and if it's what you think it is, you should probably kill it. I'll get us a proof too. Kill it and then get more people out here to find the rest of them. And beat them back underground. Well, hopefully we've only got the one to deal with. There's never just one. 
was afraid you'd say that. Yeah, they they come in packs. It's ugly, ugly stuff. Hordes. Action. If you don't stop them from spreading quickly, then you will have a pack on your head, or horde on your hands. So, how, how is it that they turn you? Do they, like, do they bite you like a zombie? And you turn, or a vampire? They suck your blood and you turn, or... Vampires aren't blue. really adjacent. <laughs> I forgot to mention that before, but <laughs> vampires aren't real yet. <laughs> oh, I, I... Just pulling from stories, like... Yeah. <laughs> The blood drinkers, or whatever you call them. There is it like some tentacly monster thingy, and it shoves his tentacles up your nose and takes over your brain. It is through the blood. Tentacles through the blood? That's disgusting. No. Through their fluids interacting with yours. Uh, the bloodborne pathogen. I'm a married man, I don't even need their fluids. I don't think you'll have much of a choice when they're biting your ass like a hunk of ham. That's disgusting. That's why we have to kill them. All of them. <laughs> well, without looking bad in, we'd be pretty useful at the same at least a little bit. I'm sorry, your accent was too thick for me. I... <laughs> <laughs> I do not get that. Boy, I'll put all of my dad at least and we'll come over. <laughs> Keep anything from flooding in our mouths for us. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that was common, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all still not get it? No. <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> 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 Just use a bandana to cover up your face, at least. Yes, I... Armor to protect your body, and... I don't... Don't get any of their fluids in your eyes or mouth. Uh, chainmail. It's full of holes already. You should stop the bite. <sighs> don't like this. The claws hey, that's cool. to look out for. <laughs> All right. I guess we're going after the tracks. Yes. Nice. Okay. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. So you follow the big tracks and you find it what looks like a large chunk of a two-story building that's been shattered across the street. And then you look at where it came from, which is about 20 feet away, and looks like an inn. There's half of a signpost that seems to have like some sort of red potion that's been cleaved into. That's on the ground. Uh, looks like whatever broke through the wall was caused by a heavy swing just from looking at it. Was it cleaved by something sharp or dull? Dull. Oof. Are we talking like tree size, branch size? That big thing walked over here and smashed it. I want to start. Hard to tell at a glance, Argus. Mm. Especially when you feel like something's watching you. I make a perception check to see if there's something watching us? Yes. Okay. I would like to as well. Terrible. Holy shit. Yup. Um, if any of you else wants to make a perception check like Grim or Nico, you can. I think Bammy stepped away. Okay. Well, he probably wouldn't have noticed it. Yeah. 
You just feel like something's eyes are watching her on you. Don't like this, lads. There's something else here. And we need to find it before it finds us. I think it's how Eddie found us. What do you mean? Well, it's that prickly feeling on the back of your neck. It knows we're here. Is there anywhere uh, defensible that we could kind of maybe hole up in? Define hole up in. Well, something that would be easier to defend, like single direction. Didn't it smash a building in half? Mm, yes, not a good idea. Technically broke part of a building in half and then threw the part it broke across the street. That could yeah. cause the building to collapse. Okay, but if there's more than one, you don't want them coming at you from two different directions now, do you? Yeah, well, what, what are we going to find that can actually hold up against them, though? Is there, there's more of the town that we haven't explored, right? No, there's not okay. that much more. It's kind of just more of the same. And we're with at less and less signs right of struggle as you go further towards where the tracks lead. Are, there, are the tracks going any further? Yeah. We weren't trying to hide anything. Or at least the big one couldn't. Okay. Bradlin. I think maybe we try to lose whatever is following us and keep going. How do you suggest we do that? Pray to your gods and hide. Hater's beard. Did you not see everywhere in town this thing just went in and grabbed people? It already knows we're here. If we go a hole in somewhere, it's going to come in, try to rip us out like it did everything else. We don't oh. need to fight the big thing. If we can just find one of them. And do you propose on doing that how? We know what direction they went. At least one, eh? I'm open to ideas. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly how we're going to be dealing with this threat if it's this big and it's going to be this much of an issue. Are we I even think like... no matter what, we will get ambushed. I do, I do so have I a just... spell that may help, but as yeah. so if we get lucky and it works. Know, I mean, if you want to, if you want to gamble on it. If only there was a nice cave or something we could lure it into. All right, so you want to set up a trap? Is there anything around here we could like set up a trap with? Is there like an environment thing? Is there like a cave? Is there a freaking I don't know, like a hole? You may lure it into one of the buildings and drop the building on them. Do we have stuff to cave in a building on command? Called an axe, lad. You want to be, while this thing is, while we're all fighting it, you want to be, someone want someone to just be swinging at it. Well, you trap it ahead of time, so, you know, a couple of key spots. You can collapse a roof, probably. Don't know about the whole building. What's the thing? I don't know how big these houses are. Uh, the, the, just picture the Skyrim buildings. Oh. They're sizable that's enough. Too, yeah, that's not too terrible. Okay, houses are really kind of built so the roofs don't fall in. Right, I'm willing to try it. If you want to prep one, we lure it in, get the guy out, and I'll just start hacking at the hacking at the support beams as much as I can. It could work. 
Hey, we could set this on fire. That's the other thing. If we could, if we trap it in there, you could also smoke it out. But I don't know how. Why that... not both? I pull out an oil flask. You no longer feel like you're being watched. Huh. What did you say, you do, Russ? I pull out an oil flask. Oh, can we look around for anywhere that might be look like we can corner it into? Depends on the type of creature it is, right? If it's uh, just a prowling hunting monster, it'll come back looking for more food. If it's a more intelligent creature, it's probably moved on, unless it's really predatory. And if it's a dragon sworn, as you know, Sigmund, they probably just went back to wherever the rest of them are. Why did it switch to this one? But yeah, you heard what I said, right? Yeah. We need to find where the rest of them are. It's just a matter of how we go about it because we've are we've been we feel like we've been seen. You're also on somewhat of a time limit. I was like, yeah, you could take most of the day and set up traps or fortifications and stuff and then get ready to fight whatever comes. Mm -hmm. But you've got places to be. Yeah, how much time do we have? Let's see, two I think you have like two and a half days to get back. It's just enough time. So what can we do while we're here? You could follow Where the tracks because you know they yeah. seem to be heading towards where the sinkhole was reported to be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We should have to do it and try to not get ambushed. So we can't even. Yeah, we don't have enough time. To, I didn't even know that. Yeah, time that's what I was worried thing. about. Okay, I didn't even know that. All right, so if, we, if it's just that, then we just gotta go deal with it. Then we can't even. Well, the straightforward approach quite often works. It's worth a try. Also, you never gave me a perception check, Grim. Because you weren't here. Yeah, you got to roll perception. Oh, I got you, brother. The thing that's looking at us. My bad. Well, I was, I was away. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. You hear a creaking sound coming from a nearby barn? Check the barn, guys. I heard something. Hey! We encircle the barn! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we start chopping at the support beams and light it on fire! <laughs> no. no, dude. <laughs> oh, yes, dude. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it, uh. How fast is this thing? Oh, wait. Never mind. All right, what are you guys doing? Check out the barn. barn. Right. Check out Surround the barn. The barn. You see that part of the stairs were recently oh. disturbed. Back into the fox shed for a minute. Fox? Something was in here. What do you yeah. mean? Said fox. Well, I have five familiar as a racial thing. Got a familiar? Well, by all means, use your mystical, magical stuff. If you can tell us what's in there. I'll, I'll take a minute to get a set. Right. And then stand the fox and see what's in the barn. Your little fox goes running in. Do foxes have dark vision? <laughs> fucking 5e, e, man. God damn it. Do they have fucking dark vision? <laughs> Okay, yeah, There's I was about to say. There's a lot of black in the yonder. <laughs> the, the fox runs in. I can't see shit! <laughs> now it's got dark vision. So it walks in. And suddenly your fox's vision just goes like... It just gets ripped straight up into the rafters. And then your fox is... Uh, you no longer see through it. Goddamn, not again. <laughs> it's pulled into the rafters. 
I guess pulls up in the rafters. I kick in the door and I run in. Okay. Maybe we should actually set this thing on fire. It killed it again. <laughs> Always when you send him into a barn, huh? That's <laughs> exactly how it died last time. It's just like, come on, man, not again. <laughs> oh, jeez. I hate to see it, but I'm kind of kind of with that one there. Just uh, set the place on fire. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Well, if we can now, you run in. So, Sigmund, you run up and smash the door open? <laughs> we know it's in there now. Yeah, yeah you see you run up and smash the door? Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Fuck All right, run you run up and smash, smash the door, and then you see acidic drippings hitting the ground. And you look up, and you don't have dark vision, so you can't really see it. <laughs> but you see two eyes reflecting some of the sunlight back at you. And then a... Uh, a Donnie at 3 a.m. sound, or should I make the actual noise? No, don't do it. Okay. I'm okay. It goes, <laughs> and then fucking bursts through the ceiling and flies off. All of you just see, like, some weird, shadowy black creature. It's kind of hard to make the details out of because there's all the splinters of wood and stuff. And then it shoots off towards the west and disappears. It hauls ass, too. It's going like. You 120 feet? Holy shit. Oh, what about it? I was going to say, oh, maybe I'd take a shot at it. If it's could, uh, could I throw a spell on it? Well, if you guys want to try and cast something on it or shoot it, you, you have time to. Okay, yes. I'm not putting this into initiative because... I, I don't want you to fight this I, thing I, right I, now. I, I could throw a hand axe at it. Did I, I hit it? Sure. I'm going to cast yes. insinuation on it. Okay. So it's got a wisdom save. Grim pulls out his heavy crossbow, takes a pot shot at the flying creature. It passes. Damn. Almost had it. Uh, you see your crossbow bolts bounce off, bounce off of it. That's got a higher. It hit it. It just didn't seem to do any damage. It just clink clank. Oh shit. Okay. Never mind. Uh, you know, that's uh, probably a good thing you weren't all. Yeah, Jesus. Oh. What was that? Normal I... weapons had no effect. We roll like a history check or something. Does anyone like, remember any like stories that are vaguely something similar? Like a nature You're trained in history. No, I don't know. I don't know what that no. is. <laughs> what about Arcana? Uh, sure. Sigmund, you can make a check. Arcana check? Oh, Arcana, history, whatever you want. Nature. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Holy shit. <laughs> you spark of genius. Do I need to add inspiration to it? Cause... No, she said we're using critical successes and shit. So. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, if you want to roll, you can too. Nico. Yeah. Session one curse. Here we go, baby. Every <laughs> this, is, time. this is voting very poorly for what might happen next. <laughs> um, that's what happens when a rock gets turned into a dragon sworn. Of oh, rock, shit. which is oh, a type of man. fiend. Oh, I thought you were talking about the brook. So, rocks are normally CR6. That thing had like a kind of black draconic head. It's, uh, it's a little out of our league right now, that's Alright. Is there any way, is there any like evidence that I can collect from the scene here? Uh, there's just some like black drippings. Yeah, can I? Would that be? Would that suffice? I mean, your mentor would believe you. Right. The rest of them would just be like, "Oh yeah, you saw Dragon Swarm for Rock, sure, dude." That's why <laughs> I want to bring back some actual like. Yeah. You know, blood but or something. 
it also went west. And the sinkhole is to the south and somewhat to the west. Is there any of the acid left over? Are you try and grab some. Give me a... I don't know what the hell check that would be, actually. Crafting. My tools, maybe? Yeah. I, yeah, just make a generic crafting check with one of your tools. You get like a little bit of it. I don't guess this would be enough. That I think that'll do. Uh, did right. you turn on your lantern in the barn? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You see a little small bundle of like what looks like a weird. Up, like an up icon, but with like a little uh, fuse attached to it. Wait, what? You see a firework. Whoa. Like a little firecracker. I take it. Okay. Nice. I don't know. I hand it to... Uh... Nico, any it's ideas? firework. <laughs> I know. Like a whisker do or whisker hill? Seems like a, uh, a firework. A work. Whoa, yeah. crazy, dude. Okay. You said I don't know, man. No, I'm just. <laughs> I'm just. Josh and yeah, okay. Is there so we have to go to the sinkhole? If you want to get some actual good evidence, yes. Okay. Who's that sinkhole here? Okay. So you uh, head towards the sinkhole. I would, if you want to be sneaky, I'm gonna need some stealth checks. Okay. You could also wait for cover of darkness, and it would be a lot easier to actually get visual. Up to you How guys. long would you have to wait for that? Right, we're on a time aren't, still. aren't they weaker in the daytime? I mean, technically, because they don't have their advantage of dark vision over like humans and other races, but it, oh, it's not. It's like, not the same. It's not they don't like yeah. become physically weaker. It's about two hours for sundown. It won't take you very long to get there. Well, we can take our time checking the place out. Darkness comes, darkness comes. Alright. Uh, well, sculpted it up. I mean, this, this should be funny. Argus is going to try to be stealthy. Oh, you almost got really well, you almost rolled really well there. I have to roll a disadvantage though, don't I? Yeah, we both do. So pretty good. You guys are just rolling straight right now because they have disadvantage due to something else going on. Even better. So I think all of you passed. <laughs> Except <laughs> David. <laughs> <laughs> Except Grim. I'm so still you can't like see me. Your fucking sword scraping against the rocks and shit. <laughs> guys, this is hard to do with this thing. How do you how do you guys squat so well? Argus is just standing there, arms are crossed. He can't even tell he's standing in a shadow. He, he's got no idea that he's actually being stealthy. Just bow your head slightly. That's your stealth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we go. I mean, this would be darker based on the time of day it is. And you guys would also be further off the map. And it doesn't look like you updated your HP, David. I changed it on my card. On your card? Yeah. My 20. 
Okay, it's not updated on your token for some reason. Whatever, I'll fix that later. Huh. Boom. Yeah, I fixed it. Alright, sick. Okay, so. Argus, you've probably heard stories about Dragonsworn, but like. Your people kind of lived in a place where they didn't they didn't really hit it that hard. Yeah. And they were kind of. Oh, yeah. More experience with things from Sendrum. Yeah. So. I mean, they go into Kendrum, but they're not really in your region that often mm. so it's it's just one of those things where like oh yeah the big bad boogeyman that ravaged everything and some of your ancestors probably yeah some of your ancestors are probably like you damn two, kid <laughs> might have even seen one or two but you know compared to the other things that are down there it's not necessarily the worst thing that i've ever seen <laughs> yeah. and the rest of you probably heard some various stories about them but only sigmund's ever actually seen one confirmed 100 percent so what you see off in the distance look like twisted fusions of draconic scales it looks like metals been like seared into their flesh or into their humanoid flesh and they seem to come in all different shapes and sizes which all end up being horrid reflections of their original forms now i didn't want to find a million different tokens of art to represent that so Mind. Yeah. So you guys are a ways off. They don't seem to have noticed you. Yet. <laughs> so what do you want to do? You see at least four that are out patrolling. It's dark getting darker, so you can't like really see. If there are those around, it's harder to see where they are. So you could try well, to go I scope it out more. Yeah. So, what do you want to do? Uh, well, if the others can't really see, I can kind of point them out in hushed tones. You know, just be like, so we got, there's four on patrol. We got just to the southeast of us there, and just up out to the east by the big rocks. Anybody have a uh, source of light that can light up the whole area? I, I can't really be carrying like source of things. I got a sword. Well, I know, uh, Duke, you got some fancy magic stuff. Can you do anything? Oh, yeah. Maybe sun in the sky or something? You're level two now, right, Duke? Yes. So you got devil sight? Yes. Okay. Oh, I can yeah, do something. So you can see this far. <laughs> yeah. There is something Good. large sleeping. Or like, yeah, it's like leaned up against the side of these trees. Down in the hole. You can just see the top of its head. It has like a s sort of crested back, like draconic helmet. And its eyes are dull white. It looks totally to be oversized. Argus. Yeah. <laughs> Away from Argus to uh, talk about those four, and I uh, don't forget the the big ass one over yonder. Okay, do you guys want to uh, want me to do something? What can, can you do? I can light them up, a couple of them. How so? Like this. And I'll stand on the rock, and I cast Fairy Fire on these two guys down here. Okay, the two right here? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm assuming the two closest. Save. Next. Parity. Alright. So, pass fail. I don't know why it's rolling a mid advantage this shit. They're slightly below when... Uh, green, no, blue. <laughs> so, if anyone else... Actually, no, this just starts a surprise around, essentially. Uh, 
Actually, these things are kind of dumb. <laughs> All right, they piece it together and start uh, making these sort of horrid, breathy sounds. Okay, now would be the time to attack them. Good at this. Da, 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 Okay, can I can, nice. can I go up that layer? I'm just gonna reveal this guy. He's not actually like Okay. Reveal. Freeze. Yeah. Okay. So, Nico, you started us off by casting your fairy fire. Yep. Grim. He just revealed some shit. And these look like some fucking weird monsters. But they're, they're people shaped. I guess that was good enough, right? Yeah. Uh, take. Shot at this homeboy. One on the right. You have advantage. Or it's yeah. normal, depending on the range. Oh, he's just a heavy crossbow. Yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot. Uh, David, you rolled yes. a four on your stealth, so you don't get surprised. This guy oh. is surprised! Duke! It'll let me get it. Um, the the right one's the one that failed the fairy fire. Uh, I think they both failed. No, no there's the one, one of them. The one on the left, uh, passed. The one on the right failed. All right, we'll build a section kiss hex on that one. All right. The Eldritch Blast. Almost killed it in one hit. <laughs> and he gets knocked back by 10 feet. Oh, three. Rawr. And I will, uh, pull up my bandana. Cover up my nose. Okay. This my turn. I'm surprised! Argus. <laughs> um, just gonna pull out one of my, uh, hand axes and pitch it at the fairy fire guy. Okay. Nope. Oh, Alright. Wrong one. Although he's it's the same thing. It's just... He is. It's, yeah. uh... Well, he's in the second range increment, so I won't get advantage. Yeah, um, but he's a straight roll, and you hit him with your axe, and he kind of stumbles backward, shrieking. Hey! Oh! They're not so tough. Sigmund. Ah! Uh, and then I'm gonna knock him prone. You can't Arrow. move that far? God damn. Yeah, it's dash action. Uh, you'll still knock him over. Cool check. Are you shitting nice. me? <laughs> <laughs> he falls over. Okay, that's me. I'm surprised. I'm napping. Actually, what's his passive perception? Nope. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I'm going to summon the spectral hand on this dude over here. Wait, can I even see that far? Nope. I cannot. Okay, I will do it on this guy. There's disadvantage because he's prone. Yep. Oh, 
there. Okay, I'll just try and hit him with the thing. I just bump. realized I did my thing in the wrong order. I'm gonna go by the bush. I mean, you did it in the wrong order. I was gonna do the, um, I should have done the fucking divine favor first and then tripped him on my turn. Dun 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 dun. Grim, that misses. Yeah. Oh yeah, surprise round's over. You do what you want. Uh, I got dash action for double, right? Yeah. Just stay right here. Okay. I am no longer surprise. Eh? He stands up, and he's swinging a sword at you, bouncing off your shield. So it just seems to be like some obsidian carved blade. Billy's letting his cat out, right? Hey, Argus is going to use oh, his I'd... reaction oh. to uh, use Bastion's charge and move up. Okay. So, yeah, it's your turn, Billy. Duke! We'll start glowing. That... The, the sickly color again. Take my 30 feet. And I will Elders Blast this pillar over here. After. Well, I can't actually. Hmm. Never mind. That hits. Yeah. Killing it. Nice. <laughs> I was about to say, you could do roll of wisdom save. Nah, it would be feared, but yeah. He's going straight to <laughs> the <Better>. death goddess. <laughs> Her it, it's really hard to tell. This dragon sworn. Far away as you. Da da da. These things are fast. Runs up here. And it takes a bow shot at you, Duke. Missing. Argus. Walking on up. And swinging on down. Clatters off his shield. Oh, he's uh, prone, is he not? No, he stood up. Oh. You were there to oh. fall on him. <laughs> right, well, then we'll just use that bonus action to shove him right back down. Uh, that's... Oof. Yeah, it's fine. I'll roll it too. <laughs> Aha! He's learned Poor your tricks. Not. He protects his balls. <laughs> Alright, Sigmund. No, master, he has learned your secrets. I, I cast uh, divine favor and ra in rage, and then I swing my axe. And I thought you were going to say you cast trip him and you punch him in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. I want to do divine favor first. Okay. Oh, uh, that's not advantage. So it's yeah. 10 and a 6 points off the shield. Uh, and then the shield. That hits. Okay. Uh, that is what? No, yeah, that's me. No oh, crab one. Oh, fuck. I forgot to mention this, too. When you saw him die, like, some blood sort of splattered out of him. In, like, an unnatural way. That's my bad. Good thing I pulled up my bandana. Yeah. That'll protect you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
That'll keep the account. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, dang. Nine, ten, Here eleven, twelve, <laughs> thirteen. Thing. Just boom, 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 boom towards you. And oh, yeah, it is important too. So as he runs up, Sigmund, for a brief moment, your vision like changes, and you see through the eyes of this creature. What? The with your allies killing the dragon swan, and you're like, wait, that's me. I'm. Is that what I look like? I'm kind of big, but oh, you also look really small. And then your eyes shift back as you all see a large ogre-sized dragon sworn with his jaw split vertically down the middle. And he's wielding a spike club. It lets out a deafening roar as he charges. Here you go. Um, I pick up a pebble. Okay. And it's my gauntlet is just going to start glowing with this pebble. And and throw I'm, pebble. Throwing, <laughs> I'm throwing it at the fucking the big guy. Oh, that's... Uh, yo. <laughs> yo. Of course he Damn, rolls like a god. god. Bringing it back. He dodges your pebble. He's seen these tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Grim. You still have your movement oh. if you want to move slow, but you can't provoke anything, so... Just stand over half, here. Can I still no? hit the? Can I still hit the guy in front of me. Yeah, you're right there. Uh, Slum, does that do half damage on a success? Uh, I don't think so. Is he flanked? Yeah, he got one more. Go one more. Right there. It depends on who you want to give the bonus to. Do you want to give it to Sigmund or Argus? It's just. Argus this, is next. This one Argus. or that one? That has to be over here. Yeah. You go diagonal. Cool. Now Point I get tic tac toe. Advantage. Yes. No. No. Oh, you get plus two. Whatever you roll. Oh, just plus two. Fucking oh, okay. advantage got a crazy out of hand last game. They're dead. Facts. Okay. Great sword. Swing. That's fourteen. Does that? No, because he has a shield out. If he didn't have it out, it would hit him. Don't. No. This dude's just on some shit right now. He's blocking everything. <laughs> you got to palm me. Yeah, you do. Oh. Ducks out of the way of your pommel. Oh, boy. Okay. And then... He... He's gonna get eviscerated if he does anything besides attack. So, <laughs> uh, let's see. Shamless. You're the last one to hit him, right, Sigmund? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. okay. So he's swinging his sword at you. They missed. Yeah, that's his turn. Duke! This big ass thing's running at you, and the other thing just shot at you with a bow. Is it okay if I roll my dread dice from when I activated my dread form? To get uh, temp HP. Yeah, that's that would be included with it. Is that how it works? Yeah, it does. But I just forgot to do it. Two D ten. Yep. Uh, well, I'll make sure real quick. God damn. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if it's just like that the whole game. It's just holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I can use. I can roll as many as as my proficiency bonuses. I thought I was doing it right. Uh, if I can do basic math real quick. Get 11 temp HP. Okay. Does this thing have reach on me? What a, what you wouldn't know. You, you never encountered this before. It'd be safe okay, to well, assume. Fuck it. <laughs> you pull out your cane? <laughs> yep, yeah, I pull out my cane. And then I'll slash into him. Oh Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. You whack him with the cane. You forgot to transform it. <laughs> <laughs> you just got your new toy. The learning phase. Oh, shit. All right, the dragon swan runs up. Yeah. The dragon swan runs up to get a plus two on you. Pulls out his sword. Uh, I don't want to program the fucking two hand damage. I don't care. And he swings at you. And actually, uh, there's a reason you don't want these things to swarm you. Because <laughs> they got oh. pack tactics. Oh, she no. So you take six piercing. I don't know why it's piercing. It's supposed to be. His... Yeah, he stabs you with a sword. That's why. <laughs> And yeah, you lose that. Uh, Argus. Oh, best be putting this one down quickly. Yeah, you fucking. Yes, sir. Alright, I'll let you push it five feet in a direction you want. Any direction I want? It has a 10 foot blast radius, so choose wisely where you want to put it. It's got a. Actually, I don't think it matters. Radius. Never mind. <laughs> Um, well. Give me an athletics check. Okay. I'll you push it 10 feet. Uh. I sure it's That's plus. That's plus two because flanking. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who do you want to fuck? Potentially. Give fuck. it to me! Well, if I push it here, you won't be affected. Nor will Sigmund. Grim will, but Sigmund's so will immune. He. Sigmund's immune. Yes. Ah, you don't know that no. yet, but he's a Praetorian. Oh, I might know that if he's told yeah. me. I haven't said anything. I would have shouted like you know this way essentially if i see you like gearing up to move a, like you like you're desperately trying to get this thing before it goes off oh yeah it's just gonna be a big old like backhanded swing yeah. with with the uh with the morning star clock him upside the head and just go stumbling down so i would have called for him to come this way throw him this way sure and just bash him in the shield and shove him over yep and Everyone's fine. <laughs> it's splat. Kaboom. The air movement, if you want to take it, Sigmund. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, I do want to. I will move over here. Uh, and can I knock this guy for own the big guy? Certainly try. Okay. Uh, does he have hex on him currently? No. Okay. Hmm. I'm worried about the exploding. Yeah, fuck it. You also see strange orange veins in its neck. Oh. I've changed my mind. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's try to knock it front. Maybe. Do, 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 do. Nope. That's a big dude. The roll the knife. Okay. Does the 16 hit him? Yes. Okay, uh, he takes 16, 16 damage. Yep. Okay. And an 8 misses him. Yeah. Okay. And Mr. Ogre Boy, well, you just hit him, so. Yep. Ah, da 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 da. Yeah, I 
she would just do that. Okay, so Argus and Grim, give me a deck save. Eight fire damage. <laughs> Ooh, nice. You take so three damage make... instead. I take how many? You take. Well, I mean, technically. Yeah, you take three. That twenty. You take three instead of eight, because you take the minimum amount of damage. Graham, that succeeds, so you take four. Okay. And then he swing at you with his great club, Sigmund. Um, Does he have an advantage? Yeah. Seeing Smack that tactics. attack, seeing that what? attack come in at Sigmund, Argus is gonna dash in and. Oh yeah, you're right. So no, it misses. Reaction defends. He mm -hmm. is attacking Argus now with advantage, not Sigmund. I do think he missed me. Yeah, he missed. Doesn't matter. It, it he runs reaction. over anyway and blocks it. <laughs> yep. <All right. laughs> so then heroic. it's gonna move over here. And let's turn Nico. Um. I shoot the little guy. That hits. Okay. Sure. Right up to him. Just to say, David, remember, you have Merciless, so when you kill something, you get to go again. Or swing again. No, oh, I know. Right. I don't think this is a 12 hit. Just misses. Fuck. Clangs off its armor. This is some weird shit. Like, yeah. you've encountered them before, but not this big. No, I've never seen them this large. Duke. On the big one? Yeah, I'll go right. with disadvantage or strength. Save it through each. Strength ability checks. Yeah, I got yeah. you. And then, yes, we'll save to see if he's free now. Since I hit him with the form of dread. Alright. <laughs> he's super afraid, man. Hold <laughs> 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 on, fucking zero. He ain't so good. So tough now, are you? All right. It is my turn. The dragon swarm goes. <laughs> it moves here to get flanking on you, Duke. And then a 19 hits you for 11 damage. Yep. And it moves one over here. That's his turn, Argus. Come up here. And uh, I'm gonna smack a big boy. You hit him. Excellent. And then I'm gonna use bonus action to try to shove his ass down to the ground. Okay, he's on the ground. <laughs> yep. Just, just, falls just over. Right into the knee. Like right from the side. Very awkward angle. Run up, slam him with the shield, then slam him in the knee, and he stumbles over. Sigmund. I would like to roll to push him away from everyone. Uh, is it advantage or just regular? Just regular, he has disadvantage. Okay, 12. Okay, I'm just gonna move him up. Does that provoke? No. Oh. That's a willing movement. 
and then I am going to attack him with advantage. Smite. Yeah. And beating his ass. Then he stands up. Nope. Da 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 Okay, the end of your next turn. Disadvantage. And you are the one that feared it. But he also smacked it. And he pushed it and he smacked it. Alright, Argus. Bonk. That's a good thing that wasn't a crit. I would have done a lot of fucking damage. Alright, oh, 18 hit you. Of... Aye. Alright. Just. Take 11 bludgeoning damage. Uh. And that's his turn. And a bunch of you hear noises coming from the sinkhole. But it's your turn, Nico. Oh cool, it didn't use his HP. Yeah, that's your turn. Mm -hmm. Is this slot swanking or do I have to get there? Give me a sec. Right, um Fab Remember the explode. Yeah, that'd be flanking. I'm I don't think I'm gonna do over half its health. That was a 10. Bounces off his armor. Is this still prone? No, God. No. What if I clockwork amulet? Then yeah, it hits. That number okay. that hit, it's 13. I do that. Alright, take six bludgeoning, Grim. You right. sock it upside the head. <laughs> I swing at the uh, guy next to me. Okay. You cleave it in half, and... Merciless. Yeah. Do but first, then... before you do that... Oh, he's got to blow Everybody, up. make me a con save. Everybody or everybody in 10 feet? Nah, just uh, Grim and Duke. I just like saying, everybody, do the thing. <laughs> Alright, you guys are okay. Although, you have a vile taste in your mouth. Or not in your Disgusting. mouth, but like, there's just a vile stench as it explodes in a bloody I mess. I move up. I get another attack because of Merciless. Yep. Nice. Ooh. Chunk then it. I'll back, up, I'll back it up. Bonus action. Pommel strike. Clanged off its armor. Damn. All right. Duke! That's me, fellas. Well, they should have uh, for its power just <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you stab him. He's almost it's dead. Game. Yeah. Yes, then do it roll into another wisdom save. I don't know if it's even going to get back to his turn, but I'm sure. Nope, still frightened. Dash. Old man, move him away! Hey! Argus. Hey! Um. Yeah, I'm. Uh... Just gonna step up there, use a big ol' shove. Well, there's a chance he manages to beat this. I doubt it, but 
Nope. So, you push him five feet where? Which way? Fuck. Oh. You gotta just keep, keep get him as w away from as many people as possible. You throw him towards oh. Black Lung, or I'm talking. Yeah. Up here. All right. You have. You can keep shoving him. Yep, I'll do that. Use the re regular action to shove him again. Okay. Needs beats. Oh. Shit. Sigmund. Do you want to move away? Not really, no. You sure? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna hopefully shove him. Let's see. 14. 19. You push him. These, these guys are still within the range, right? Yeah. Um. Sure. You didn't think this would happen this early, did you? <laughs> no, you, I did not. You would either get them now or we all get caught. Well. Also, who's got the highest passive perception? Me. Which is. Good question. It is 14. Yeah, alright. That's. Yeah, okay. Where is passive perception? You just take you the number and add 10. Also look at your character sheet, it's under a lot of yeah, underneath skills. Alright, so you swung at him? See it. Yep. You hit him? Yep. Uh, it didn't add it to the quick macros. Okay. Am I allowed? So I don't, I'm a little confused about two I've been fighting, right? Could I have used one of my things as a shove? Your no, main hand I swing have... as a shove? Can I, can I do that just to see if it would work? As, as the, I say, I the important thing to question is just like you can yeah. push people with your shield does it say you can push people as a bonus action with your shield or you can push people with your shield it's a bonus action and then it would be a, sh a shove action to move him if I have a shield it could be a bonus action from the the glory paladin thing um, but with the feet I can actually just do it as a bonus action instead of my proficiency or my yeah my proficiency modifier so that if I take the shove action to push him away, because I have a powerful build and I can move him because he's large, and then I hit him with the the second the offhand. With shield shove, if you select this option a second time, did you do that? Oh, uh, that's the that's for it to be a free action. I only have it so that it's a bonus action. Okay, then no, you can't do that. Okay, all right. Well, I hit him. All right, you hit him. He pops. Uh, saves. This could be the end. Beard shield. Okay, if you rolled below a 15, you are now infected with dragon sickness. This is. What does that say? There's a bunch of the blood kind of like hits you in the eyes and gets in your nose and some even in your mouth somehow. Even though your mouth's closed, it's really weird. So, inspiration has to be based on background shit? You start with one. Can he can he use it? If he wants to. Um... No, it's okay. Okay. So oh, damn. It pops! And then, you hear a bunch of shrieking... How many pieces of it left? There's, yeah, there's chunks. Can I grab it, something recognizable as dragon? That would be recognizable as dragon's horn. Yes. All right, lads. I think it might be time to go. Uh, we've got the proof we've needed. Uh, I don't. That's a lot coming. Yeah, this is rather disgusting. Rather not deal with all the things. I'm gonna it's check out this sinkhole oh, before this? we leave. I, I there's think more coming out of the sinkhole, dude. I think the oh, sinkhole is gonna check us out. 
Too deep into the sinkhole, so probably uh, dip set, honestly. Oh, yeah, now I see this. I see it now. Uh, a classic berserk line. We should probably do this. <laughs> <laughs> Duke, when you went to go look in the pit, you saw like some people with similar cloaks to Sigmund. Like colored Good. dragon scale cloaks. Ah. What do I, what, do I see them as well? You can make out a faint sheen, or sheen. Are they Is coming it? towards us? Fuck yeah they are, do you want me to token drag them like Donnie? <laughs> no, we run away. Okay, so, a lot of people. you can try to run, you're far enough away so you can try to hide. Okay. So, you move 60 feet off the map, or more if you go that fast, you know? Yep. And mm -hmm. then... Try to, try to hide. Someone can try to cause a distraction. How do you want to escape these things? Because clearly there are eight, but more are going to keep coming up. Well, hide. Hide. Set off the firework, lad. Oh, I, yeah. Can I use the firework as a distraction? Yeah, sure. You light the firework. And then what do you do with it after you light it? Um... So would they be? Would I know if they'd be attracted to the noise? Yeah, everything is, pretty much. All right, so I just send it off and like as far as I can in the opposite direction of us, right. so that like they hear it and get distracted. You don't hear it go off. What? You don't hear the firework go off. It was okay. good. <laughs> can, uh, can you what? Shoot. Can yeah. I like shoot a? a, a dead branch somewhere if there happens to be one. Sure. Just knock a, knock a branch over. Make yep. some cracking sounds. Alright. As you're doing that, Duke, you turn around and look at the firework. And like one of them picks it up and he just starts running with it. <laughs> oh shit. He's bringing it back. <laughs> it's a fucking Urukai on Helm's Deep. <laughs> no. But after, like, probably 20 more seconds, its hand explodes. <laughs> nice! It wasn't a dud. It just had a delayed fuse. Alright, so you guys keep on sprinting away. And now we're going to go to a bit of a skill challenge so you can tell me what you want to do to try and escape. I'm booking it. I'm on. I'm fucking on my Olympic. Okay. I'm a runner. I'm a Sorry. track star. Roll me and I'd like to check. One person. Oh my god. Alright, that's a failure. Oh. Oh, you, damn. You're like, come <laughs> on this way! He knock a bunch of shit over. No, David, you can't roll. Or athletics. Oh, I thought you. Well, actually, no, oh, he didn't I succeed, thought... so you can roll it. And that's a, su uh, that's a success. I haven't run a skill challenge in so long. Oh, okay. We're at the rules for a second. So I just, I'm just fucking. He's oh, fucking yeah. it. He's trying to like, or Sigmund's trying to climb up this rocky pass, which you know you'd normally be able to res run past. And you're like, no, fuck that, come this way, around the bend. So you gotta just sprint around. So that's one yep. success. Now, uh, Nico, Duke, Argus. Okay. I have a good one. It's gonna sound crazy, but um, it's it's an actual hunting technique. Uh huh. I'm gonna e uh, yell or whistle in open spaces to try to get the noise to back out, back bounce back. Yeah, what would you? What skill would you consider that to be? Deception, maybe. <laughs> yeah, if you want to try, that fits very well. They're confused as shit. <laughs> Somehow, you're sprinting, you, all of you just sprinting and whistling. It's managing to have you escape. Sprinting and whistling. And yeah. Who wants to go next? Argus or Nico? Maybe I can, like... Uh, perceive somehow, like... A place to hide? Us. Or something, yeah. Yeah. Alright. So go for it. I hate 
first sessions. There's some, <laughs> like, that you can feel this shit coursing through your body. And it's very distracting. Like, your eardrums are pounding. You, you haven't had to exert yourself like this in a long time since you were, like, a kid with your with uh, Yakos. Running away from the, uh, the well-to-do people after you pranked them. Fond memories, but also not the appropriate time. Nope. Argus. Uh, you mentioned this is, like, there's some super rocky paths. Uh, would it be possible to, like, start a mini rock slide to impede their progress? No, you can't use athletics to do that, so how would you like to do that? Because someone already succeeded with it. Mm, survival. Alright, sure. <laughs> you smash, you smash some stuff. Oh man! Wow! I rolled a two. That's that's three failures, that's right? The yeah. yeah. So, as you're like, all right, come up here. I'm gonna smash this, and we'll get our way out. And then it kind of it just doesn't give. You hear rounding from you. You hear them rounding around the corner, and then you just hear the sickening sound of uh, metal on flesh, and you just see a head roll around the corner. Time to go. And do you all just keep going? Wait, sorry, I'm uh, a head roll around the corner, like you just heard like one... things were about to run around the corner, and then you just heard like shring, cut, <laughs> and a bunch of stuff died. Oh shit! Okay. And you see one of the dragon sworn heads roll around the corner. Oh fuck! I stop running. Is there a fucking can I get a perception check? I bet you a fucking I need to see this. <laughs> do I do I recognize the swing? <laughs> No. No. Oh, God damn. A part of you does. But it's really weird. Uh-oh. I feel like you've heard that sound coming at you before, but you've never heard that sound before in your life. It's really weird. Fucking blind. It's like some strange deja vu. I turn back and look. You don't say anything besides, you know, what the head that stopped rolling. How far down is that from us? It was around the corner, he said. Probably like around 100 feet. Okay. It's getting darker, but, you know, you still make out shapes. We need to get out of here. Yeah, we have the go. proof we need. We got what we need. Let's just go. We're wasting time. Sprint. Grim is just fucking Grim is just why is you saying bolt would be yeah <laughs> you take one back one last look Grim yeah or are you just like fuck this get me out of here uh, you know no I actually I look I look alright you see. look you see a figure in black robes with a sword pointed down you blink again and it's gone Immediately, I recognize it. I take it in, and I'm like, I'll talk about decide to talk about this after we get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you guys can just I mean, the danger seems to have passed, but your body just don't know that. <laughs> feet, feet. Yeah. So you keep on running until eventually, you know, you get a couple miles away, and you're like, all right, we'll stop and rest. What do I know about the sickness? He has... What's your con mod? Uh, zero. Okay. He has about a day before the sickness will take him.
Sigmund, I don't know anything about curing this stuff. My only interaction with this was with you. Do, I, cure, do I, I know anything about curing it? The only cure I know is how to cut their head off, and obviously that's not correct for this situation. I mean, you could turn him into a Praetorian, but you'd need the proper materials. That's one way to cure it, because they either it's either successful or it's not. Depends on the individual. It works most of the time. So I have to find... But you also have no uh, idea what the fuck you'd be doing. <laughs> yeah. I would, I would then have to find... Uh, Varethos, right? Yeah. I don't know where he is, though. At the moment. He like, was somewhere we're, around we're... the sinkhole. Oh, he was around the sinkhole? Yeah, he was scouting out around the area. Alright. Um... We... My my band isn't anywhere near, right? No. No. Okay. Are you separated from him for now? For right now, yeah, I'm with yeah. these guys. You, they're somewhere else. Okay. We need to find the other Praetorians. This helps how, Sigmund? Um, it is. He has to take. You have to join the order, or you will most likely die. So where, where exactly are they? They're somewhere in this area. How close? You have a signal well, flare or something to call these guys? I mean, would I know how to track them down? I mean, you might as well light a fire. It's the best thing you can think of right now. Okay. Um, if we have a signal fire, maybe we can communicate with them, but that's pretty much all I can think of. We'd have to find them. They're they're investigating this area. <clears throat> right, I would be able to bring up my familiar, but I can't do that till tomorrow. You got a spell slot you can try. Or you can do it. I can't do that until we sit down for an hour. Well, that means he has around 23 left at this point, so. Or 22 when you're done. Actually, no, short rest 10 minutes, so. No. Well, then I'll, uh, I'll bring back my familiar instead of a fox. I'll make it a, or. I guess an owl. Owls are dark fish, don't they? Got a bird, something, anything. Yeah. Then I'll start going into the trance and uh, send it up. You send it up with like a torch in the sky and start waving it around. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could. Okay, so I think Fine Familiar has a range limit. Or you could just command it to do that, actually. Yeah, I'll just command it then. Yeah, alright. Goes up and starts waving its torch in the sky. That'll do it. Maybe so. How do you feel, friend? <coughs> not, not well. Very, very uh, weak. Weak. Are you injured what? at all? No. Okay. What is the illness like? I won't lie to you, it's not... It's not pleasant. You will, uh... Deteriorate rather quickly. He's gonna turn into one, right? Uh, some... Um, well... There's rituals that can be done to increase, like, the potency of the creature, but otherwise I'll just turn into one of those generic... Dragon Sworn. His next... 24 hours will be hell. Can we but slow it down? Like, hold on. We have rope, right? Yes? It got in his head. It's Oh, not... it's in his head? Yeah. Oh, no. Shit, okay. Hey, we're trying to get around his throat. I was gonna say, like... I put a hand on uh, Nico's shoulder and I say, when it is enough, you tell me. 
and I want to be. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. We but have to find it. I, I will let you know. We have to find my teacher. He will most likely have what we need. It's not a sure thing that you'll survive the joining either. Yeah, well, it's either guaranteed death in 24 hours or chance at living. We do what we must. So you gonna do what you have to do? Alright. Signal, right? We have the signal going off for these guys. Yeah. So, you guys gonna camp down for the night and just keep having that old soy the torch? The general yeah, area? Yeah. I can't think of anything else. I mean, make this bonfire as big as possible, I guess, right? Try to attract whatever we can. Yeah, that could, that I could make it of consequence this slow, too. Is it I could send that all out to actually scout, too. Yeah. Does anyone have, uh, paper? Yes. Okay. Uh, I sh I ca can I write a note and just give it to the, to the owl? Yeah. So, and then it can fly around with the torch looking for them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just, g I give a brief explanation in the, in the letter and... You know, tell them to follow the owl, essentially. What was the last part? A uh, brief explanation of the situation. Uh, we fa Basically saying we confirmed that uh, the dragon sworn are here and that they need their help and we're nearby. Um, follow the owl. Yeah. Then you guys set up... Uh, camp for the night yep. just taking first watch I got it all right give me a perception check all right thanks been rolling okay on these so. yeah Something about that hooded man is familiar, but it's, it's not Wayland, the more you think about it. It's not, well, I mean, it's, that's, it's yeah. good, but also not good. What <laughs> the fuck is it? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, you see some rabbits running around. Just animals. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Alright. Let's roll another one. Oh, it's next watch. Argus will take second. Alright. I'm not gonna make you roll perception check because there's nothing there really. But that was some shit. <laughs> Yeah. Thargus sits there staring into the fire. Yep. Getting lost in the fire. <laughs> Rolled a two again. David, I think we swapped dice. <laughs> For real, holy shit. <laughs> Who's third watch? I'll take watch. Okay. Middle of the road. Letting your guard down a little easy, aren't we? Sorry, do I recognize yes, you recognize this yeah, voice. I, this fucking I, dick I, snuck up on you again and uh, put his sword to your throat. <laughs> God damn God it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Alright, you got me again. Right. So what's the problem? We found uh, a burrow. A nest. 
Maybe. The sinkhole? The sinkhole, yes. Yes, I was down. I followed some of the men and stuck to the shadows before escaping. After I heard a bunch of them rushing outside, I can assume the dead ogres that I found were your work. Quite impressive. Yes. There were a lot more. We had to flee and well, one of my group is uh, infected. Assuming it's the frail one. Yes. Just moving in his Could sleep. We... He's also covered in sweat now. Yeah. <coughs> he needs to join us. Or he will die for sure. Well, there is an alternative. Oh yeah, and just for you know what he looks like. He looks like an elf who is like at least five hundred years old. He's got a bit of grey going through the top of his long black hair. He's got a cleanly shaven face. He's wearing uh seems his clothes his clothes seem to color shift like a chameleon's. But it looks like some half plate. And he has a long sword, a lantern that he can, you know, flick on and off. It looks like a much fancier, cooler version of your lantern. <laughs> it's kind of like blue with, like, uh, blue light. <laughs> well, like, why would I describe a whole lantern if I could just say what it is? <laughs> this guy's just better than you. I get it. Yeah, he's so that. fucking awesome, dude. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and he's got another sword with like a dragon, or not a sword. It's like a sort of shorter head. Like he's got like a kopesh on his back hip, like a smaller one yeah. that has like a dragon-headed pommel that you know he he said before that was like a gift from Arthane centuries ago. He was also wearing a ring with three or a golden ring with three like pale white stones in it yeah uh so the last thing he said was there's another option so to that yeah. in response i would say um that that is his decision to make i wasn't talking about killing him what? that's what the final mean? option And there would be a third option. You've lo you're losing. <laughs> yes, I know. You. Never mind. <laughs> he goes over to. <laughs> he goes over to Nico and wakes him up. Like just gently nudges you awake. Squatted mm -hmm. down. You're the infected one. Yes. don't have many options here. Do you want to join our order? If I must. But do not yeah. really know. Fucking Slim. Always finding a way to make a deal. <laughs> I mean... I, I was one presented that option. And I said I'd join if I must. So... I'll grant you the wish I never had. The option of choosing. And he gets up and says, I wish, into his ring. And you feel fine, and you see one of the gemstones light go out. No. Is that all? Anything else you found? I gesture to the remains we collected. <laughs> Nothing new, but it'll work. But they're definitely here. Yes, I know. See him pause for a moment and look towards the tree line. I'm being watched. Again? Looks like a rock. We saw one. Earlier, I give him the vial with the acid. Yeah. In it. The black dragon seems to strange. Oh, my mic's probably just not even picking some of this shit up. What? You're very quiet. Yeah. Like you were saying that the Vrock 
is infused with a black a black dragon. Yes. Oh well, I gotta go deal with this. And he like pulls out some vials from his belt and just starts chugging. Uh, I'll see you back in town in two days. I'll see you there. All right. And he takes off like a bat out of hell. <laughs> this hasted move speed. And then you hear a bunch of violent sounds coming from the tree line. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. I think Argus wakes up when he when the sound of violence erupts, yeah. <laughs> even in the distance. That's what wakes him up. Is uh, uh. But how are you feeling, yeah. Nico? Surprisingly well. Like nothing even happened. Did what did he do? I believe it was something with his ring. I don't think I will will ever be able to repay his kindness. I'm sorry for putting you all in that situation. I am knocked the fuck out. I'm not even awake. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I guess I, fi I finished my watch. Yeah. And when you all awaken, there are a few potions that you know he has given you before that essentially just allow you to force march or force march. See if you just double time it back to town. I put it in the morning stew. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what the hell's he putting in our stew? <laughs> Bro, I'm, just, yo, I'm like, I'm cracked out right now. My freaking eyes are dilated. <laughs> Man, you guys want to do something? A little amphetamines helps the stew go down. <laughs> then you all head back to town. <laughs> Takes you about a day, you don't feel tired enough to rest. And then, uh... Do you, I'll just ask you guys, do you guys want to go like walk through the town and like talk to NPCs and get your gold or handle that next session or just fast forward most of it? Um, so I'd you be guys? down for handling that in the next session. I'm crashing kind of hard. Yeah. That's fine. That's cool. It's very good to me also. And that's it. Next session one.